the enemy within has conquered Europe without a fight. They've subdued us just through lies and a tight organization. Having the European tribes fight each other and afterwards replacing the Europeans with peoples from elsewhere, hoping for another war against those peoples from elsewhere, which the Swiss have always been doing as they love their Nazi police and Freemason authorities through the Alemannic alliance with Pharaoh. Therefore, Swissy has become an entirely different head form due to the mixing with the enemy within, as the Swiss Alemans recognized the advantage of having this alliance with the enemy of the European peoples. So this is a cephalic index of Europe. And you all see it's all black here. It's like a cancer in the middle of Europe, in the Alps. And it says here, the deep shades indicate broad and relatively short heads, like here. It says the Kelto Slavic stock. Well, it has nothing to do with Slavic nor Kelto. Here, it's all black because there was a Muslim invasion by the Caliphate, the Ottoman Empire. And um, of course, the most of the raping has always been done by the aristocracy, you know, the Caliph, who are the same pharaohs as our masters. So this is uh, the black here, it says the figures indicate the, the breadth of living heads in percentage of the total length. So these are brachycephalic, as it's been called, you know, like short round heads with, with a part of the lobe missing at the, at the back of the head, like flat heads. And these are long heads, you know, all over Europe. It's called dolicocephalic. Northern Europe, it's all long heads dolicocephalic this is original european yeah even in spain and the isles here even central europe and then here it gets all very black so it means it's a, it's a different race i mean you can see it at the at the cephalic skull form and why is it black here in France? Because this is the buffer zone. This is Alsace. This is Jura, Le Doux. This is the north of Italy. This is uh, Vorarlberg in Austria. And this is the south of Germany. Here's the Palatines, where Obama is from and, and Trump from his father's side. Erich Honecker of the Stasi. And here it gets really black. It's um, it's the base of evil. I can't explain you why it's here. They probably, they must have went here as well. And they made like a big nest here. And here as well. This is also Muslim invasions here. They went all the way to here, to Poitiers. And raping the peoples, yeah. The Caliphate like the Islamic State is a caliphate. And Afghanistan now is an emirate by the Emir. Emir, Caliph, it's all aristocracy. It's not really the people. I mean, you know, these guys, they all had a, um, a um, you know, a lot of, uh, a, a lot of women, you know, like hundreds of women, you know, in the court, the Caliph and all this. Same as in Europe, you know. These are facts, and facts don't lie. You can check it out yourselves. Look around in daily life 
and compare. Here in this channel, I do facts only, compared to all the disinformation rubbish in the internet. Facts, academic facts, scientific facts, and historical facts. I like facts and something to hold on. They will last through honesty, trust, and straightforwardness, and no short lived rumors that will fade away with the dust as soon as the thrill is over. Facts, facts, and facts only. Now, through the bug wars, finally very few of the original Europeans left in Switzerland are waking up to the existence of an enemy within. But there are not many real Europeans left in Switzerland due to the 2000 year infiltration and eventually completely dominating their host. Therefore, I'd like to give you some hidden information on the Swiss health minister, Alain Perset, the local Alpine king of the bug wars, terrorizing the population with the usual pharaonic lies. As Pharaoh's media are a bunch of liars called Die Lügenpresse in German. And here it says in German, Lügenpresse, halt die Fresse. And nicely rhyming too, saying in English, media liars, shut your traps. It is obvious that's all background information on the health minister is all monitored with all valuable intel being hidden. Other that he plays the Swiss sport of Hornusen using the master's whip. Now, what normal person would invent a sport using a whip? Huh? Well, only the masters would do so, all the time guarding the slaves with a whip in their hands, then spontaneously, in one of the many idle moments, while the slaves are busy building, then out of boredom, watching the slaves all the time, take the whip to make some desert stone spin at high speed, the real master's game with the pharaonic whip, hey Swizzy. The Swiss game with the whip was most likely already played in ancient Egypt. Here's the name, Hornusen, the Swiss whipping game. Hornusen means a hornet in English which is almost the same word, hornus, hornet, hornus, hornet, a word most likely of pharaonic origins, as the European tribes couldn't even write nor read when Pharaoh came with their Roman armies. And when you'd get whipped, by Mr. Pharaoh here, your back certainly feels like being stung by a swarm of hornets. Well, here it is in Wikipedia. This is the name Hornusen. So this is the uh, the Swift the Swiss whip game, uh, whipping the hornet, where they all stand in the field like here with a Swiss cross on these things here. And one of them is whipping. And this is interesting here in history. The sport probably developed in the 17th century. <laughs> no way, man. The earliest reference to hornets 
is found in the records of 1625 of the consistory of Laubersville, canton of Bern, in a complaint about breaking of the Sabbath. So the Swiss were doing the Sabbath. Eh? So well, here you can see some more. This is the one the whipping. Uh, I mean, what normal person invents a game using a whip? Eh? Can you believe it? And here, the other ones who are not whipping, look, they're all looking up, you know, like the, uh, the hornet is coming or something. And they're all standing with a shovel with the Swiss Templars cross in it in the pharaonic colors of the, the Per Het and the Per Tasser, the white house of Pharaoh and the red house of Pharaoh. So what I see here is a reference to the slaves in ancient Egypt, you know, working at the pyramids and standing with the shovel where the other one is using the whip. Hey, Swizzy, you don't fool me. In Swizzyland, everything is different. They practice ancient sports you see nowhere else in the entire world. They have a different skull form from the rest of the Europeans. Miraculously, they missed out two world wars. All the money and all their banks are there. And all the world's leading NGOs are there. The United Nations, the Red Cross, Olympic Games, you name it. Everything is there in Pharaoh's powerhouse. And just as the Swiss Kim and the Tsar of Russia, Mr. Putin, do, showing themselves as some physics studs, the Swiss Lugenpresse media and the ministry's public relations office tell their slaves that the health minister is a marathon runner. Run, Mr. Health Minister, run. You're gonna need it soon. Run fast and as far as you can. Go do a runner. Run. Oi, Kim, guess whom I picked up on the road, also running away from something? The Swiss media pals of Mr. Swiss Health Minister belong to the Swiss nobility of von Grafenried and their Tamedia company, who heavily attacked me and my family all the time, spreading filthy lies about me in the Swiss Lugenpresse, which I further show in detail in this video here on the same channel. The title is here The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, Part 4 Breaking Individuals and Nations. I published it on July 23, 23rd, 2021, Channel Gure. And here it says in the video and in, in from Wikipedia that the owner of Tamedia is Charles von Gravenried. So I wonder, as the Swiss media belongs to the nobility, could it therefore be that the Swiss health minister Berset also belongs to Pharaoh's nobility. Well, let's have a look, shall we now? So here it says his name, Alain Perset, inaugurates an exposition in the Chateau de Prangin, the castle of Prangins. A castle, eh? The Swiss slaves, just as the German slaves, 
and their abdication of the Emperor William II in 1918 believe that there is no more nobility in Switzerland nor in Germany. Here is a, a long list of actual Swiss nobility which I'm gonna read out for you. Grafen, here yeah, I start with the A, Grafen von Aberg, Aburg, Adelsgeschlecht, Awang, Adelsgeschlecht, Eschi, Adelsgeschlecht, Adelsgeschlecht, Adel, it means nobility, and Geschlecht, it means a house, like Ber, you know, like Berset, you know, the, uh, the health minister like a royal house. Antlau, Adelsgeschlecht. Schenk von Gladburg. You know, when it says von in German, it, it means it's nobility, you know. In French, it is de. It means the same. De, it means uh, by or from. And von, it means from. And usually it's like a, a piece of land. Gladburg, it's a piece of, it's, it's, it's a region and uh or the or there's a castle you know like epstein von epstein so it means schenk from land egg which is which is a region uh landenberg langenstein you see you get the stone the stones is again eh? schweizerisches adelsgeschlecht latour it's a french sounding name lenzburg Lili, Adelsgeschlecht, Linden, Lumerins, oh, you saw that, it has the uh, the Swiss cross in it, I see, Lumerins, Luternau, and the, 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 oh, here it's got the Templar V in it, and uh, O for the, uh, for the compass, so, Let's go on here. Andwil, Freiherrn von Aspermont, Balm, Adelsgeschlecht, Bernfels, Brechburg, Beltrüsch, it's a French sounding name, Belmont. Uh, and also look at the coat of arms, eh? interesting. Belp Montenach, Bennenville, Bernhausen, there you are, Berset, Berset, there he is, you see? And this is the original name, how it was written, of the, um, of the Swiss health minister. You see how it says Seth here, like the god of darkness, the god of the underworld, the god of chaos, of Pharaoh. And Ber, it means Per, the house of Seth. And don't you think they're all gone, eh? So there he is, the Swiss runner. But the minister didn't run fast enough, though. Got you, mate. So I'll continue to name the actual still existing pharaonic nobility houses in Switzerland, who still rule the entire country while the dumb slaves believe they have a people's referendum well forget it you know Bichelsee and don't you think they're gone eh they're still there and they got loads of offspring Blideck well that's interesting Got three squares in it. Well, I'm, I'm not going to look too much at all the uh, here. Bondali with the Swiss cross. Magenberg and the castle. Manessa. Manuel. Three times a fleur de lis. Much. It's also, it's always three, you know, three, what is it? Three wings here. Because three is them, May, 
Oh, that's a nice one. Always lions, of course. And this also, they show a lot like uh, these vertical lines. Mice, Adelsgeschlecht. All, all in Switzerland, eh? Uh, Mestral, Adelsgeschlecht. House, the nobility house. Demeuron. Mont. Oh, there you got the um, the Order of the Garter. There you are. And then the coat of arms of the uh, the British monarchy. Moors. Adelsgeschlecht with a bear. Mulin. Adelsgeschlecht. Ah, oh, that's interesting. They got the same thing in, uh, in, in Mulhouse in France. Uh, the, this round thing here it's it's the uh, the symbol of the uh, the town of Mulhouse exactly the same thing Mulna Zurich Munch Munza well, let's go on you just tell me when you have enough eh Yeah, uh, Bondali. And these names still exist, you know, in Switzerland. And they're all in key positions. Now they're all politicians. They all got big businesses, you know. They never left. Come on. As I showed you the picture before of the uh, the German emperor with Adolf Hitler. We, we're still in the Fourth Reich, you know. They just changed jackets. Uh, I'm sorry, we're still in the Third Reich. Bonstetten, again, three. Bovelino, Brandis, Bremgarten, die Freiherren von Bremgarten in Bern. Brümsi, ah, look, the seal of Solomon, Brunner in Bern, with an octagon in it, is it? No, it's hexagon. Boomberg, also from Bern, with the uh, the seal of Solomon, King Solomon. Again, three things in it in the coat of arms: Buchek, Buol. Two colors, white and blue. Blue for the war and white for the New World's Order, and a little red rose, you know, for the. Uh, where they came from with the uh, with the roots where the flower is uh, again buol they have again three leaves the uh number three buchading burgistein the herrn von burgistein busnang it's all swiss nobility Münz Münze. Münze, it means a coin, you know, they were making the coins, you know, and owning the coins. <laughs> Muralt. Now here it's got four, which is us, you know, for us. And it's, it's the, uh, the Fleur de Lis. Grafen von Nellenburg. Neukuburg. Like Coburg. Neuenburg. You know, you've got three times white you know, and four times the red. So it says the concept of red and of, of three and four in a Templar's V in the colors of the Knights Templars. Uh, Offenburg. Oron. Funny name. Augsburger. Ah, there you got again the uh, the coat of arms of the royal house of um, Gotha Coburg in in England, the uh, the unicorn, and taken over by the uh, Order of the Garter. Pem Pfuffa von Altishoven. Ah, the skull of the Freemasons at the uh, one corner of the table as they did in the Swiss school where my kids were, you know, same thing. At the corner of the table, they put a skull, Freemasonry. So, 
you've got Swissy, they um they it's the first republic in the in the entire world. The first horizontal new world order rule in twelve ninety one. So here already the nobility they became republicans, you know, ruling in a different way, you know, like making their self, themselves invisible, like disappear. Planta, nobility of planta. With a with a with a bare foot in it. And uh, on top it has this CIA star in it. You know. This is very interesting because if you don't understand this, you, you'll never understand everything. But it's it's gonna take some time. We had to see here. Well I do both, you know. Kriesenberg, Mundprat, Kandrian, Kapol, Karl von Hohenbalten, again three of course, because that's them, Kasparis, that's Ka, Per, Is, that's the word Per in it, even if it is with an A. Kastelberg, hmm. Chalon, nobility, Adelsgeschlecht, nobility, Chanvin, oh, nice castle, you know, hidden, you, would, you wouldn't even know it, it is there, you know, ah, von Granson, very powerful family in Switzerland, Chapeau Rouge, again three of course, and it has a Muslim sword, the same as this uh, Freemason order lodge in America. Uh, I forgot the name, John Wayne was part of it. These guys, you know, driving these little cars, you know. Cossonne, <laughs> uh, Crusas, Crusa, Pigeon. Well, that was the telephone in those days, you know. Uh, Diesbach. Also, very powerful family in Emmental. Von Diesbach. Portale. Prangin. Oh, yeah, that was the castle where the, the, the health minister, which he inaugurated. The castle of Prangin. Pré. Herrn von Ramschwag. Rapperswiller. Nobility, Raron, Nobility, Regensburg, Nobility, again three, uh, Reich von Reichenstein, Reinach, Freiherrn von Rezüns, zu Rhein, so Freiherrn, the ones who are free, it's it's also nobility, you know. Ring von Baldenstein. Baldenstein, it, remi it reminds me of Baldur von Schirach, the nobility, the uh, the nobleman who, um, uh, the head of the Hitler Youth, who put all the garbage in, in the heads of, of, of kids, who had no chance to escape it. Ringenberg. Uh, anyway, they were forced to go into it. Ringelting, again, again, three things in there. Okay, I'm going on here. Truchsessen uh, von Diesenhofen, with a crown in it. You can read it, you know, those who read German can read it yourself. And uh, normally I, I wouldn't do this, you know. Eberhardingen. Eberhard, it's a name, yeah. Eber, it means a, uh, a wild boar. Uh, it's the Count of Eberhard. And uh, normally I wouldn't do this, you know, because it, it gets boring in a, in a movie. But it's so important because the whole world, and especially the, uh, the Swiss peasants, they believe that, that they have a Swiss referendum and they have a people's republic and the peasants are ruling. Or forget it, forget it. 
So I just want it, I just want everybody to to get this real, real boring and, and look at it so you won't forget it. Especially so the Swissies won't forget it. Who's really ruling the whole shebang, you know? So I'm just gonna get on with it, you see? Um, so if it's boring for you, you just jump, you know, and uh, to, to the next part. Ecu blanc. It's all nobility. Effinger. Egardon. I'm not even reading at all, you know, because um, that will take too much time. Eppenberg, like Epstein, you see, you know, there's a square in it for the, you know, for the square, yeah. Um, Eppenstein, oh, there we go, Epstein. Oh, you see, even in Swaziland, you know, and and through history, you know, the the uh, part of the word it falls away and it becomes Epstein, and uh, you know, uh, red and white. So, you know, Epstein, it's nobility. Eh? Erlach, von Erlach, Eschenbach, I think it was a famous painter or something, uh, or designing houses or whatever. But it's all nobility, of course. And on top, it has a, a crescent moon of uh, Islam. Uh, Falkenstein. Because nobility in 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 Islam, you know that they're, they're they're the same the same dudes. They also have nobility, eh? Falkenstein that means the falcons, eh? Um, Horus, Horus. Well, it doesn't look very much like a uh, a falcon. Fellenberg, uh, Fischer, von Fischer. Oh dear, what happened? Um. I pushed on something, yeah. Oh, there we go, good. Ritter vom Rümlang. There we are, uh, that's the uh, the unicorn again. Rockville. Oh, that's interesting. A, uh, a double Templar's cross, one in white and one in red, eh? Um, a Roll, nobility. Rotberg. Freiherr von... Zagogne, Zagogne, <laughs> Vori Zagogne, you know, the Russi Russian Mafia, it's called Vori Zagogne, it says Zagogne, it's in French, so you say Zagogne, because the Mafia, it's all the same thing, you know, it's the same, they're terrorizing us, and they say, no, we need a police, and the police is them as well, you know, see, that's what they do, it's always what they've been all doing, yeah. uh, yeah, three things on earth here, you know, here, the con the, the red and the white, uh, von Sax, the Saxons, you know, Scharnachtal, Schauenberg, Schauenburg, Schauenstein, the Stonesies again, again, the number three, Schlatt, the doubleheader, you know, you remember, the doubleheaded, nobility because one part was for the Repu were republicans and the other parts were monarchists so they put them all together in a double header you know it's all it's very simple you know flachslanden die herren from flachslanden fries frischen froburg giel gengen Giesenstein, Glutz, Gösgen, Nobility, Grafenried, ah, oh, they are my pals, von Grafenried. They are very powerful in America. The um, George W. Bush, he married a von Grafenried, Laura Bush. They have a castle where the Bush family goes next to Bern. I went there, I filmed for you. Von Grafenried, they have the Tamedia. They, um, the, the whole media in Switzerland belongs to them, and they really attacked me and my family, von Gravenried. you never forget that name, eh? Grandson, very powerful. Uh, look at the castle, eh? Grand Villard, Freiherrn von Greifenstein, 
You know, that's why they put German speaking and French speaking, Italian speaking people together. Because, you know, there was the French speaking nobility, the Italian speaking nobility, and the um, French speaking nobility, the German speaking nobility, and then the retro Romantic speaking nobility in Graubun. And they just put the peoples together, you know, because they wanted to have the new system. So, um, Schmidt von Grüneck, there's not much left of the castle, Schmidt von Grüneck. Schönau, again the year number three, and a sort of a double header. Oh, yeah, one head is white for the New World Order, the horizontal Republican rule, and one head is red for the Old World Order, the vertical rule. So you get a different way of making a double header. And in the helmet, it says it shows a, a Templar's cross or a Swiss cross. And there is the uh, the compass as well. So there must be a square. Yeah, the square is in the in the cross, of course. Rorschach, the Herrn von Rorschach. Rosenberg, that might be a Jay Walker nobility, maybe Rosenberg, because they exist as well. Zeen, von Zeen, nobility. Zellenbüren. Senach Clan Grancy, again the number three. Zen von Münzingen, ah, there's the, the Tau symbol, the T in it, you see, which comes from the uh, the Ankh, the Pharaonic Ankh for life, in red and white of the pharaohs. And uh, why does it show a Nubian? Eh? Well, Zignal, nobility, von Zignal. So all these names, you know, they were they used to be von Zignau, and now they're just called Zignau, you know, and you don't know anymore its nobility, yeah. And all Swissies, they think, oh, we are, yeah, we rule the whole, the whole country, it's the people, we have the referendum, and the people's, the Swiss People's Party, the UDC in French, or the SVP in Swiss German, the, the, the Swiss People's Party, the Schweizer Volkspartei, they're all nobility, they're just lying to the people, you see, you know, all these vons are not gone, so now I'm going to read it the real way, you know, like, I'm not going to say Zingen Zignau anymore, I say von Zignau, because you can see at the left it's all von Zignau, von Zingenberg, von Zinner, it says, to the left you can see that. Oh, look, there's the, the Freemason hand. You see, it's the right hand, of course, you know. It means there are Republicans in red and white. Solaire, de Solaire. It's the same as von. Yeah, Grenchen, von Grenchen, sorry. Uh, I think a lot of Americans go there next to... Um, to that tourist place. Grün von Grünenberg. It's all green. Very nice. Very nice coat of arms. I like it. Von Gutting. Von Habsburg. Die Habsburger. Von Habsburg. Laufenberg. Laufenburg. Von Halwil. Line with a big dick because you know they're a bunch of rapists, you know. Hey, eh? Prince Prince Andrew von Hegensa again, um, uh, King Solomon von Hegensa von Heidelberg, the hound von Heidelberg again, three things in it, three squares, even von Heidnau von Helmsdorf. I think Helm von Helmstorff was a, and a, it has a, uh, uh, the unicorn, and at below there's the double header unicorn, you know, two times, and with a T in it for the the Tau symbol, and there's also the, uh, the Swiss cross in the middle. Hetzel von Lind, Lindach, von Le, von Hetzel, von 
Hiltelingen with the axes. Die Freiherren von, von Spiegelberg. Von Spiegelberg. Von Bernegg. Von Stadion. Again, three. Three times the crescent moon. With the Templars cross and the helmets. And the all-seeing eye and the uh, in the birds in the birds uh, feathers. Of course, it's an all-seeing eye. Von Steiger, von Stocker, von Strasberg, uh, like Strasbourg in France. Strasbourg, von now in Strasbourg, the Europe, it's the center of the European Community. Von Strettling, von Strettligen, with an arrow shooting at us. It has the V symbol of the, um, of the of the Templars in it. Von Streif, von Stürler. Ah, this is the um, the gate here. They uh, they show it, I think, in the British Parliament on the coat of arms, the new. Sulz, von Sulz, von Sumero, eh, it's uh, Sumeria in it, uh, von Tavel, von Tavel, okay, let's go on, we get, we're getting there, eh? so Swissy, you Swiss peasants, don't forget who's ruling, eh? don't believe your people's party and stop terrorizing the immigrants you know they're not the enemy i'm not your enemy right? so leave my family alone von von turn turn und traxis in albon von itchner ist ein altes schweizerisches adelsgeschlecht geschlecht so you read it, this you Swissies, eh? They didn't disappear, these people. Forget it, eh? Oh, look, at, oh, look at the knife, a nice throat cutter. jean de Beaufort. Jägistorf, von Jägistorf. Swiss nobility. During the war, the, um, the, the Swiss general, who was, you know, like pretending to be against the Germans, he was in the castle of uh, the the nobility of von Jägenstorf. Uh, here it says Jägenstorf, or the uh, the people there they call it Jägenstorf. Uh, I, I filmed I filmed the castle for you. Probably it was on my channel. The uh, fuck took took it off. Von Jena. See the crescent moon of the of Islam. And on top, he's holding the, the seal of Solomon, the dude. It's all the same thing, you know. Von Jochberg. Von Kien. Von Kienberg. Von Klingen. Von Krauchtal. Ah, von Klingen it has also the, the bird's eye, the all-seeing eye there, meaning Horus. Von Krauchtal. I was in the prison there. It was also an ancient castle, a high security prison in Krauchtal. The family von Krauchtal. So they get money, you know, to um, to renovate their castle, you know, like using it momentarily as a high security prison. You know? So the uh, their castle won't, you know, like uh, deteriorate. Von Kranken. Von Tegerfallen, von Teufen, von Tierstein, von Thun. So like uh, Greta Thunberg, you know, that's it's the nobility von Thun. You know, maybe it shows von Thunberg somewhere. Hmm. You know, the, the, the Freiherrn von Thun. Oh, here it says Thun, but here's Thun, like the town Thun in Switzerland. Huh? Greta Thunberg. 
it's all the same you know you you don't get all into the newspapers all the time just like in france now with you know like this guy zemmour eric zemmour uh the guy here is uh is a jaywalker but the whole jaywalker community are against him you know because they understand it that he's uh erev rav you, even a simple jaywalker you don't get into the media all the time as simple as that you know he's, he's a pharaoh Van Toggenburger, Van Travers, Van Trezzini, Van Charna. What's that? That's again the uh, Le Griffon, an old pharaonic uh, uh, animal. They, they, the first time they found it was in, 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 the, uh, in the ancient pharaonic hieroglyphs and all that. The uh, uh, Griffon. Uh, die Herrn von Thun, von Ulm. It has again a, a, a Griffon on top of it. Von Valer, from Davos. Ah, yeah, that's where they keep the uh, the G20 and the uh, all these these things. Uh, from Davos, von Valer. It's a uh, it's also a surname. Okay, people, we made it, eh? Thank God they don't have all the um, uh, yeah von Kiborg. Near the site, oh, there's another page. Oh, uh, the Freiherrn von Watz. Ah, there you got the checkerboard. They got exactly like this on the cars of the Australian police. Remember that. So, you Australians, you better read this, eh? What's written here as uh, the checkerboard, the Freemason checkerboard in white and blue with red, with a red square next to it. Because the red square is where they come from and the checkerboard uh, white for the New World Order and blue for the war is, the, um, is what they have now. So this is the same as the double-headed birdie birdie. Oh, you got one head red and the other head is uh is freemasonry here so what was this next next the ah it's going on bloody hell uh yeah okay well let's go on it's not much we always already at the z the z in american english von victorian there's the uh the victorious ones in it you know victor Victorian von Stahl, Grafen von Waldkirch. Ah, oh, with the uh, the oh, well, why is the Nubian there? Hey, what is the Nubian doing there? That was probably a Nubian king, you know, a Nubian pharaoh. So, you know, and remember, it was the um, the African kings who enchained their own people to sell them to the. Um, to the Muslim slave drivers and then the ships, they all belong to the Swiss, you know, it's a big, you know, we didn't do it. The white people, we didn't do it. We were not the slave drivers. And there's the circle in it for the compass. Freiherrn von Waadt, it's like BMW, you know, it's also nobility, of course. Von Wartenfels. Von Weisenburg, Schweizer Adelsgeschlecht, in Oberland von Werdenberg, uh, von Wessenberg, again the number three in it, die Freiherrn von Wildenberg, it means the wild mountain, well, you know how many women they raped, eh? von Wilading, Die Herren von Wolfurt, von Wittenbach, von Zehender. So now they, they, you know, like Wittenbach, they're just called Wittenbach nowadays. They just took away the, the von because we're not anymore in a monarchic system. 
in a you know we are in a, in a in a horizontal system now in a republican system so they don't and there's so many of them they know they don't need the fun part anymore and you know and and nowadays through marriage you know ah tender oh look that's the wife of um uh, I, I will tell you that in a minute Tain in um it became tender the the age went away the wife um, of uh, the Swiss health minister, Perset. This, this is the, the royal family or the nobility family of his wife. And the, only the H fell away because there's the word 10 in it. And you used to, the nobility, they used to take one tenth of your salary or one tenth of what you, you know, of, of, of your harvest which is called uh a dim from un dixième dim in french it became the english dime you know like brother can you spare me a dime like in a funny way doing the same thing as the nobility you know like a beggar you know doing as the nobility and people used to know it in the old days but they don't know it anymore nowadays of course you know if you think of a dime you think of you know a vietnam veteran or something you know but it all comes out of the the tenth part of your salary or of your harvest, which you had to give to the nobility, so they didn't have to work. And the wife of the health minister, her name is Tender. So listen up, you Swiss peasants. You know you're still being ruled by these ones here. At Selvega, you know Renee Selvega, famous um, American uh, actress. She's Swiss, by the way, and well. Here you can see from what nobility family she is from. Otherwise, you don't become a famous actress, you know, or it's going to be very hard. Uh, some of them, most of them know it. Some of them might not know it, you know. Tsolikova von, Tsolik, von, Tsolikova von Altenklingen, Klingen, that's the uh, a knife, you know, the uh, a blade. Zweier von Evenbach again, three leaves in it, you know. And if you're interested, you know, you can click on all the, you know, and see the Wikipedia and, uh, yeah, so I can click on this one. You can see the, uh, the coat of arms. So I hope it wasn't that boring. I had to do this. So you really know especially the Swiss peasants, you all know that the SVP, the UDC, it's all nobility and they're just trying to gain time, lying through their teeth, they're all smiling and uh, lying to the people, you know, and with this fairy tale of a Swiss people's referendum. Come on, people, forget it. You know, these are the ones who are still ruling and you Swiss peasant, you know, don't do as what they want you to do. As when I was living in Switzerland, Switzerland, you had this wave of of racism. You know, and showing the Nubians as black sheep being kicked by the white sheep. You know, it's just it's a camouflage. You know, they want to gain time, so you lose your energy on a side track. You know, like let's go and attack the foreigners, like me and my family. You know. I'm not your enemy. No, this is your enemy. All this nobility stuff, you know. And you just lost your time, you know. They just went on Im uh, like importing all people from all over the world. They just went on, you know. And you thought that the SVP was doing something against it. No, they didn't. They just went on and they lied to you. Forget about it. There are just a bunch of all these politicians are a bunch of liars. Oh, I can go on for ages with the dumb Swiss peasants. They're never going to understand it. They're so obsessed with... Oh, it's useless. In fact, the seven heads of the Swiss beast have the final say. If a people's referendum passes or not. It says the seven members of the Federal Council 
The Swiss government comprises the seven members of the Federal Council. The president is elected for a one-year term of office and is regarded during that time as primus inter pares. Uh, you remember the primogenitor here of the aristocracy? Don't we now? Primus inter pares, or the first among equals. You know, because this is their new primogenitor. And just have a good look how he's holding his hands. Eh? You all remember Trump? Merkel? Hitler? Just look how he's holding his hands. He's giving a message. Look, there he is, the Swiss health minister with his blue war tie. He's always wearing the blue war tie. And look at how this bloke here, maybe you know him. <laughs> look how he's holding his hands. He's always doing this like this. And here's the World Economic Forum. In Switzerland, of course. And this is the compass, the circle, a square. Here's the square and compass, yeah. I mean, why put this ugly thing here? Like if it were from, uh, from some cheap shop, like, you know, why not put a nice marble table, the things they like, you know, they got all the, do the, all the money for it, right? So this is Mr. Mr. Perset. The house of Seth. And he is doing the, the hands. Eh? They all do it. And here we can see Mr. Hitler and Mrs. Merkel again doing this. They all do it. Eh? Uh, in fact, I was the one 10 years ago who found in a video Mr. Hitler doing this and I immediately recognized it. I made a video about it on my channel, but. Um, Fuck to took the whole channel off. So and then for a while my video was um, copied by some persons and even that has disappeared now. But thank God some people, some Germans who took some screenshots of this, so uh, we can still use it. I don't even know anymore from what old documentary I got it from, but um, I immediately recognized it. And the seven heads of the Swiss beast are not elected by the people, but by the National Council of 200 Freemasons. It says the National Council, 200 seats, all Freemasons. And it says in this whole story here on Wikipedia, it says somewhere, I think, that the, uh, they vote the, uh, the seven heads of state. So here's their logo. And you know how proud they are of their Swiss cross, you know. So, but why mutilate it? You know, it's a whole part missing here. Deliberately missing, you know. Because it has four parts, the Swiss cross which means the people, the concept of four. So what is it here? The 200 seats, it's the government, yeah? There's only three. The concept of three, which is the hier hierarchy of the, of the pyramid, the side of a pyramid. It's a triangle, it's three, the concept of three, which is them, our masters. And of course, the national council here, it's only them. Look, and they call it, even call it the federal palace. It's that's that's a federal palace. You know, I, I just filmed the and oh look, I see the sun hieroglyph in it, and it's it's, it's all in there, you know. And uh, you know, if I punch on it here, look, come have a look at it. This looks this looks like a mosque to me. This is a mosque, you know. And. Uh, you know, that's the, here too. The third part is missing here too. This is deliberately because it's them, our masters, the concept of three. There's no European in the Swiss National Council, neither in the Swiss 
federal council. There's no real European or no real Swiss peasant in there. It's only the aristocracy and therefore the concept of three. The symbols are all there. It's straight in our face. Nowadays, in order to avoid further frictions, the enemy within our masters simply frauds the outcome of all Swiss referendum elections. Like making it legal recently in 2020 for pink list killers being able to get married and adopt defenseless children in Switzerland, for which surely not even the Swiss would vote for. Anyway, there's no one from the people who controls the elections except our masters themselves, who are both right and both left of the political spectre. The left wing and the right wing are of the same bird, birdie birdie. And remember that I've read all the names of actual aristocratic families in Switzerland. So you'll never have to think anymore that they're gone. This is eternal Egypt. The nobility's double header rules over Switzerland. The nobility's double header rules over Switzerland. Eternal Egypt. So, um, his title is His Excellency, Mr. Alain Bercy. He's the federal councillor. It says His Excellency, Mr. Alain Bercy, federal councillor, head of the federal department of Home Affairs, the Swiss Confederation, 2019. But the name should be pronounced Perset, as the Swiss Germans would pronounce it. So I have a good look at his name because there are two parts, Per Set. And I'll show you now what the name Per Set means in Pharaoh's language called the Demotic. Per comes out of Pharaoh's Per, meaning the house as in a, a royal aristocratic house. So here in Wikipedia, it says the hieroglyph per, because as I told you in Pharaonic, only the consonants are being written. And this is the, um, uh, the hieroglyph house. And here it says per is the hieroglyph for house the floor plan of a walled building with an open doorway. While its original pronunciation is not known with certainty, but modern Egyptology assigns it the value of per, eh? just as in the bloke's name, Ber Set, Bercy. Uh, but purely on the basis of a convention specific to the discipline. And here there's some more about it. Oh yeah, here. This is the, uh, the hieroglyph for library, the house of life. So here's house and here's life, Ankh, with the Tau symbol below it. Because for the pharaohs, if you don't write things down, if you don't have any history, you don't exist. There's no life. And um, well, you can read it yourself. Uh, uh, there's a lot of pairs here. And here, the Per Ankh. Here it's even written like this, Per. 
the Per Ankh, the House of Life. There's another Wikipedia here. Oh, there it is, the Per Ankh, the House of Life. And this is the hieroglyph. You can read it yourself. And um, So this is the origin of his aristocratic name. And Seth or Set, you can write it both ways, as in the name of the Swiss health minister Ber, Ber Set, or in his, the aristocratic name von Ber Seth. Seth is the Egyptian god of the underworld and the god of deception, evil, war, violence, and destruction who provokes earthquakes, famine, and volcano outbursts. Seth, or Set, the beast, as in the Swiss beast, home of the devil, and the beast with the seven heads, with one of the seven heads called Perset, from the house of Set, Seth, the god of chaos, as in Ordo ab Chao, order out of chaos, which the health minister Perset, from the house of Set, the god of deception and destruction, tries to achieve with his politics. So Pharaoh can install the total control ma'at order of pharaoh after the chaos the anagram for the new facebook meta is ma'at like here in french with the second vocal not really an a anymore here you can see it ma'at or here ma'at Ma'et, the anagram of Meta, the goddess of order and total control after the chaos. The Meta Ma'et logo in blue for the wall in a bent circle in 3D representing the compass. As with a compass, you can draw a circle. So the aristocratic name of Berset means the royal house of Set, the beast god of Egypt, which happens to be exactly what he's doing, the beast of Switzerland. The name says it all. And watch the guy to the right with the all-seeing eye pyramid around his neck in gold. Now what is he giving here? Here it is. The all-seeing eye pyramid in gold. Now what do you think he's giving to the Pope? Don't you think this thing here fits in here? He's giving everybody that all-seeing eye pyramid, probably. With a smile, of course. Perset, the house of Set, here playing ice hockey in the house of Switzerland, the Per Swissi. Look here, it says the house of Switzerland. It says the house of Switzerland. Because Switzerland is a pharaonic house, the base of Pharaoh, the Swiss beast, home of the devil. Look here. Look how they're laughing as Perset is probably cracking some ancient pharaonic joke. I guess Perset was preparing a game with his pharaonic pal, the Tsar of Russia. As hockey is an ancient 
Pharaonic game. Anyway. And I remind you that the WHO World Health Organization is also in Switzerland. The World Snake logo with Pharaoh's magic wand, keeping humanity in the crosshairs, showing the global Swiss octagon all over the world. And look this here. And this is what the Caesars of their Roman Empire were having on their heads. So this is Caesar. This thing is the crosshairs on the world, you see. It's divided into eight parts. The cake here is divided into or the pizza. It's divided to the, into eight parts, meaning octagon, all over the world, octagon. And this is the Pharaoh's magic wand, as in the Bible, with the snake. The uh, WHO World Health Organization in Switzerland, of course. Oh, look, there he is again. And here is his name, Mr. Alain Berset, Berset Federal Councillor head of the FDHA, whatever that means, Swiss Confederation, it says World Health Organization. Berset, the Swiss Health Minister. With the WHO World Health Organization in Geneva, Switzerland. Oh, here's their snake logo. Yeah, the Brotherhood of the snake, you might say. And here it says, yeah, and here it says World Health Organization. They are so concerned about our health. Hey, Swissy. Some of you north of Switzerland might recognize this one here wrapped in blue for Pharaoh's war crown, with the blue war collar around her neck, symbolizing the choke of humanity through the bug wars. And here's the charming couple again, this time showing a black square next to the Davos circle compass. And here it says, committed to improving the state of the world, committed like in to commit a crime. These are all hidden messages in which the state of the world does not mean the general condition of the world, but it means the world state or one world order just as I've shown you in my last video in French, about the French cops called by their media the forces of the order, which doesn't mean that they bring order. No, hell no. It means they belong to a secret order, the order of Octogon of the Knights Templars, state of the world and the forces of the order combined to achieve their total might. Berset's ancestry comes out of France, of the aristocratic family of De Berset, the French way of pronouncing Berset. De Berset, Berset de Vaufleury, Berset de Haute Rive, and their castle, Chateau de Haute Rive, who either had to escape France because of the French Revolution, but rather the opposite, because they were aristocratic, republican, Templar descendants. Look, this is Wikipedia. This is the aristocratic family of uh, Perset. La famille Berset, ou deux 
Bercy. Uh, it's a county. And um, here's about the origins. So this is about the, uh, the ancestry of the Swiss health minister from the house of the beast. Set is the beast. Yeah, Jacques Bercé, Marin Bercé, Jacques Bercé. So I just pronounce it the French way here. Eh? This is the French branch where they come from. Jean-Baptiste Bercé, Marie René Michel Bercé, René Bercé, Louise Bercé, Marie de Haute-Rive, you know, the castle. Marie Bercé de Haute-Rive, de Haute-Rive, de Haute-Rive, Joseph de Bercé, it's the soldier, the Order of St. Louis. Oh, there we go. We nice Templars cross, eh? Uh, it's always the same stuff, eh? Jean de Bercé, Marie Amélie de Bercé. Uh, oh, look, the uh, Carolina. No. <clears throat> you just have to dig into the history, otherwise you never understand it, you know. Anna de Berze, Marie Joanna de Berze, Claudina Jean Berze, Sebastian Berze, Claude René de Berze. It's all Perset, Perset, Perset. The house of Set, there. Jean Baptiste Berze, Chateau de Haute Rive. I just showed that to you. There's the castle again. Jean Marie Berze. And this is interesting. Jean Baptiste Berze, uh, he. Um, he originated the, um, or he he did the, um, he made the probably secret society. Uh, one part is in the open, and there's one part in the uh, see in, in secretly. Eh? So this is Société du Jardin uh, Perset. It's a literary society, it says. Well, of course it isn't, you know. And, um, look, let's have a look. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. Bercé, Perset. You know, they're all like organizing societies, secret societies, and all sort of orders. Yes, the uh, the Lord of Autrive, the castle. And, well, there's a lot of guys in it, you know, in this order. You know, so they're all aristocrats, you know, Pierre Jacques and Dujman de la Morière, de la Motte, de la Vivancière, Gaultier de Vosnay, de la Fardière, Lanier de Vosnay. They're all aristocrats. It's an aristocratic order. And they just say, well, we went together, you know, because we came together, you know, because of, um, of, of some literary issues chevalier this is a a knight Foucault de, de l'Aubinière they're all uh, all power people a lot of power here uh, Jean Dujemin, Beaucoudré, de Ménil, Foucault de Vauguillon, de la Fournière it's it's the high society, the elite are in this society called De Bercé, the Perset Society of the House of Set, the House of the Beast. And now they are in Switzerland. The Beast is in Switzerland, and we are in the end times, eh? Imagine. The beast is in Switzerland, the house of Set, and we are in the end times. You know, Monaco, you know, Gazette de Courrier de Monaco, you know, it's all elite. If you walk around in Monaco with a backpack, you know, and, you know, they, they arrest you and, and throw you out, you know, you can only get in there with a Ferrari or a Porsche and, you know, 
or a Rolls Royce, a Bentley. Otherwise, uh, you won't get in there. So, so, so that was uh, Société du Jardin Bercé. It's nothing to do with it. It says the uh, the Society of the Bercé Garden. Uh, remember, that, that reminds me of this American video, the Circle of the Poets or something about this um, this guy who killed himself. It's it's. 100% sure it's a reference to this here, you know, all videos, all Hollywood movies, you know, they refer to something or they give a message and, you know, it's all castle, Chateau de Sumeren, it's like Sumeria, you know, Sumeren. Uh, it's all uh, the elite, the power. So there's the castle again, Chateau de Haute Rive, and it's a chateau fort, and that means it's an old castle. It was a 13th century, um, where the uh, the Perset family lived. Here it is in France. This here is Switzerland. The little pig, eh? Uh, Guillaume d'Autrive, Famille du Bellet. Oh, here it says uh, Jean Baptiste Bercé. Bercé. In French, Bercé. In Swiss German, just like Pharaonic, Berset. And he went, the whole family went to the Swiss German parts. I'll show you that in a minute. Now look here, this is the, uh, they even have a chapel inside. Look here, the sun hieroglyph here, the Freemason checkerboards here and here as well. Uh, there's probably a lot more to see here. Uh, there's a name here, the Count, Count. You know, it's the same word, Count or Count. There's a lot of squares here in the window. Oh, and there's a circle as well, you know. Is it? Oh, this is circle inside. It says square and compass. So they were, you know, they were Republicans. That's why they left because of uh, they were like into the Knights Templars and stuff like that. Otherwise, you don't put this in the uh, in the window. It's, it looks like the European Community blue with a lot of stars in it. That's the symbol. Ah, look at this, Yachin and Boaz. There we go, and it's the sun, Isis. Well, the whole shebang is there, eh? with the uh, the checkerboard configuration below. This is the inverse pyramid, like in Auschwitz. The flower, oh, look at this. The flower is the famous Swiss flower, the Edelweiss. You know, like the SS and the uh, they had an Edelweiss regiment, elite regiment. It's already a reference to the Alps, where they went to in Switzerland. Yachin and Boas, Isis, the, the sun, here's a V. Look at this, there's a Templar V in it. Uh, this is probably um, Switzerland here. Yeah. Well, just, I, I, I would like to have a look around here, eh? but uh, yeah, this is why they left uh, France. They were, the French king didn't want them. So, at least we know that. You can all read that in the symbols and the uh, the things they're showing, like, you know. Um, yeah. Now oh, here's again, this is the uh, the castle here, uh, Chateau de Haute Rive. Chateau de Haute Rive. All right. So look, here's a coat of arms, um, also Berset, here they are, here you are, the same as the um, Jean-Baptiste Berce, de Bercé de Laval, that's the town, uh, you know, that's, and he was a secretary, secretary of the king, secretaire du roi. Here's the concept of three, which is them, the line is them as well. Here are six squares, why not seven, funny? 
And here is the uh, the sun hieroglyph with the crown. The crown is showing nine. And of course, this is a square. And this is a circle. Uh, they have several coat of arms, apparently. Now, pair set, like the Swiss Swiss health man health minister. And this is in France, where the original originally came from. And here again, the Perset coat of arms, the crest, but now in colors. And this is interesting that this is in red and white, the Knights Templars colors and the colors of Switzerland. The nobility of Perset, de Bercy. And here is some more recent uh, stuff about the French nobility of Bercé de Vaufleury. Bercet de Vaufleury. And uh, this is Besançon, which is right next to the Swiss border. And uh, this is when some people, when they died, 2018. You know, they, they, they still exist, you know, the house of Bercet. Or oh, per already means the house, the house of the beast. Le Doux, that's a region next to uh, Switzerland, like this here. Uh, it's all Bercé de Vaufleury, Percet de Vaufleury. Xavier Marie Charles, Pierre André Henri. Well, you read it yourself. It's, it's the nobility. Percet is the nobility. Dot, final. Yeah, look, these are French castles. Well, this one is in Switzerland. You see the Swiss cross? Vaux, l'état de Vaux. Vaux is a, a Swiss canton. Uh, Lausanne is there. Yeah, look at the name, Françoise, Françoise Berzé. Like the Swiss health minister, Alain Berzé, writing or writing a, uh, an article about the castle here in france where, where they come from right. no, and this is uh all more castles look this is this is in geneva switzerland writing articles about castles and what do we find here the name of Bercy. and why do they write about art about castles it's probably their castle in the first place, you know, and it's the aristocracy. They write about castles, of course they do. It's there, as I told you, for the pharaohs, if there's no, if people who don't have a history, who don't write things down, they are non-persons, they don't exist for pharaoh. So that it's, it's, it's in their genetics, they have to write about castles, you know. And about their history. So I'm very sorry I have to do this again and this time in French because there's a lot of other names in the um, in the in the Swiss French or in the French Swiss um, aristocratic list. Uh, noblesse Suisse which are not in the uh, in the German speaking uh, list. So I know it's quite boring but uh i have to do this you know to make this document complete so the swiss don't believe in this anymore that they're being ruled by the or that the they have their swiss people's party and their people's referendum the svop the schweizer volkspartei and the udc the uh, union démocratique du centre uh, or, uh, you know, they're just lying to the people, you know, they're lying. The SVP, they're a bunch of liars. They just want to, they just want to win time, you know. So I have to do this. So I'm very sorry. Noblesse Suisse. Comte de Arberg, the Counts of Arberg. Louis Daffry, it's a count. Philip Afri, again the Count. The old is from France. They come from France, you know. Famille d'Alange. Uh, Andermatt, a soldier. 
la harpe. Uh, there's a much, there's a lot more, you know. I but I can't read it all. Well, you look, he was with the Tsar. It says here, Tsar Alexander of Russia. Uh, de la harpe. Uh, I mean, what's this? What's he doing with the Tsars? You know, because it's all arist aristocracy. Loi de chez eux, chez chez eux. Famille de de loi, de loi. Les seigneurs de loi. Famille de the family of Maillardo, de Maillardo, de Maillardo. De Kibourg. We have this one in the other list. I'm terribly, terribly sorry, people, but we have to do this. There is no people's party. There's no people's referendum. It's these these blokes here. They're all ruling, and there, there are many. At least half of them, you know, like uh, Voltaire. He said fifty percent. It's the aristocracy still ruling, eh? De de Axe, wow, well, uh, look at her face, you know, no further comment. Von Bachmann, oh, look at that. He's got an octagon on his chest and a a Templar's cross and uh, you know, well, a military soldier. Von Bernfels, that means the stone of the, uh, the bears. De Biglin. How was he? He died in Berlin. What was he doing in Berlin, eh? Another soldier. Baron de Besenwald Brunstadt. De B. Family Biono. And they all have castles, people. Maybe not so many anymore. Uh, this is the um, the bishopry of Basel, you know, where the uh, where they wrote the witch's hammer, you know, um, the two the two Swissies, or the names again. Um, oh, I forgot their names. The uh, the the witch, the burning of the witches started, and this way this one is Blar Blarer de Wartensee, Blatnik. The princess, oh, look at that. Gotha, it says Gotha Koborak. Tatiana Blatnik. Okay. Bois de Dunilac. Another. Herzogen Bursé. De Bossé, another soldier. And I thought Switzerland was neutral. What are all the soldiers doing there? Mayor de Lutry, de Meillet, uh, a noble family, it says, Merle d'Aubigny, they're all noblemen, it's all, they're all aristocrats. De Mestral, uh, de Meuron, uh, that was a soldier, eh? that's quite known, huh? Uh, de Meuron, General, Pierre de Meuron, de Montagny, the high nobility, it says here, yeah. haute noblesse, Montmolin, de Montmolin, Montaulieu. So this is where the French, you know, nobility, where they escaped to, eh? And, and they're telling you, you know, the Swiss, they, they, they got rid of the nobility, you know, with uh, William Tell and, you know, and uh, uh, in, 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 in the in Rutli uh, in 1291, and the, it's a people's republic. And you know, what are all these aristocrats doing there, then, eh? De Mural, Jean de Mural. Um, Jean de Mura. Hmm. I'll try to do it a bit quicker here, you know, but um, I have to read a little bit in it. 
de Boton. Oh, he looks like Prince William. There you go. Look at this, everything, you know, the nose and everything. This is Prince William. Alain de Boton, another aristocrat. Bouvier d'Ivoire. Three times, Templars colors. Von Bubenberg. De Beaumont. Oh, I like it, you know, they're showing the some actual pictures. You look, this is a politician. And, and Buman, you know. It also means like a devil, I think, in Swiss in, in the Swiss language or the German. And, uh, you know, he's nicely smiling, you know, and neutral Swissy, you know. Nobody thinks about it, that this is the nobility. They're all pharaohs, you know. Uh, Piram de Candol, Piramus de Candol, another one, Piram de Candol, Casimir, David de Chaillet, Protestant, Templars of course, de Chambrier, de Chèbre, uh huh. Okay. It's an interesting coat of arms. So yeah, the the rose. It's you know in the middle. It's a reference to the Knights Templars, the Red Cross of the Knights Templars. That's all. All of a sudden, they're all showing like roses in their coat of arms, you know, or putting a, a rose on their on their jacket, on their chests. Von Negeli. Neuchâtel, de Neuchâtel Nido, Maison de Orléans Longueville, a count. Um, they are, it says they are a, a branch of the, the French royal house. Yeah, that's why there's the Fleur de Lys, which is a symbol of the French royal house. And on the other side is the Templar stuff in the Templar's colors. So th th this is a double headed birdie birdie. On the left side is the, um, just like the coat of arms of, uh, of England, of the royal Windsor family. On the one side, they have the lion. The other side, they've got the unicorn. And here's the same. The fleur de lis, the, uh, the monarchists on one side. And on the other side, they've got the republicans. You see that a lot in the, uh, in the crests. De Palaisieux, saint Saforin. I heard that name before. Another soldier. Hey, what are all these Swiss soldiers, hey, what were they doing? Um, a diplomat, Picté de Rochemont. Oh, oui. Pour de Portale, another Templar's cross on his chest. And he went, what did he? He, he went to Prussia. What's Swiss he doing in Prussia? And it says, uh, Royaume de Prusse. The uh, the empire, the, the 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 Prussian Empire. You know the guy who got abdicated, De Portale, Casablanca. Well, yeah, they're all over, right? Eh? Portale. And what, what? He went to Berlin. He was born in Berlin. Guy de Portale, a count. Hélène de Portale. She went to New York. No, she was born in New York. She was born Helen Barbie. Oh, like Klaus Barbie, you see? This, this is where the name Barbie is coming from, Klaus Barbie. I, I have no doubt. This is why, you know, they gave him the, um, the paper clip and he went to America, you know, the Butcher of Lyon of the Gestapo. So her real name was the Countess Hélène de Portale. And, she, and they just changed the name into Helen Barbie. You know, like the Barbie doll, you know, same origin probably, you know. And she was both American and Swiss. They just changed their names, you know, you, you won't find it anymore. There's no more de in the name and there's no more von in the name. And then they become a politician, you know, of the People's Party. Oh, yes, we love the people of America and the people of Europe, yeah. 
Ouais, oh ouais, mais. De Colombier, famille de Villard, euh, I don't know what. Von Baldenstein. De Corbière, seigneur fribourgeois. Pancras de Courton, another soldier, a commander, it says. De Courton, another soldier. Um, de Cruza, a pigeon. Oh, isn't that lovely? I got a pigeon in a, a noble family. De Ribe. You're making drawings. De Disbach. Ah. Oh, look at it. It says down there, he was a, a, a Swiss general during the French Revolution. Well, you think about this, eh? And he died uh, in 1797, so he wasn't even killed, eh? Uh, the French Revolution was in 1789. So eight years later, he died. A friend, a Swiss general in France during the revolution. You think about this, eh? I Swiss, you're not neutral at all. And what was he? Uh, de Disbach, Freiherr, yeah, aristocrats. Frederick de Disbach, another, another general. Isn't, isn't it? Oh, there, there, there are two Diesbach, both of them a general during the French Revolution. And this one died in 1815, probably uh, Battle of Waterloo, I suppose, you know. And they change, they change sides all the time, you know. They, they start fighting for the king or defending him. When they can't win, they go to the, to the uh, revolutionaries and the republicans. And there's a lot of Diesbach. Uh, they come from Bern. I, I filmed the, uh, their castle once. It's in the Emmental, where we lived. Chevalier, a, uh, a knight. This is a knight. Look, he's, uh, look at the picture down there to the right. He's got a double header, birdie birdie. On the, on the right hand side, down, birdie birdie, eh? Um, meaning being both republican and monarchist. Of course, this. Typical, you know. Uh, more Diesbach. De Portalais again. Uh, Geneva. He was also German. De Portalais, an industrial and a banker. A Swiss banker. I'm going to Prussia. De Portalais, another one. Beverly Farms. He went to America. De Pré. Why they go to America? I thought they loved their country so much in the Alps, eh? Uh, de Pré, de Pratelli. They're already mentioned in the 12th century. David de Puri, a diplomat, of course. You know, they all have the highest positions in society. The, uh, the Principality of Neuchâtel, de Puri. Von Reding. There was something with his name, von Reding, von Reding. Uh, another soldier and a politician. Ah, yeah, from the canton of Schwitz, of Schwitz where the name, the name Schweiz for Switzerland is coming from the canton of, there is a canton called Switzerland, you know, let's put it this way. Von Reding, the name says something. De Renault. Uh, Isaac de Riva, an artillery officer. Eh? Where was he killing Europeans? Eh? A Swiss artillery officer. Eh? Neutral Switzerland. Eh? De Neuchâtel, von Roten, a feminist. Oh, yeah. Let's destroy the family, eh? Well, it's also the aristocracy behind it. Von der Roten. You know, remember this name, eh? Born Meyer. I am Meyer with a Y. 
they are jaywalkers and Maya with an I, they are the uh, Europeans. So she was born Maya and a uh, jaywalker and married an aristocrat. So that means she was also uh, of the aristocracy, but the jaywalker aristocracy. Otherwise, you just don't marry in like this into the aristocracy. Dodona, a grave from Donats, another soldier, military. De Dorton, noble family. De Erlach, he looks like a soldier. From Bern, de Erlach. These are the coat of arms. Oh, I think I filmed that when at that castle in Spiet. Louis de Erlach. Um, another soldier, military Swiss. You don't need so many soldiers in a neutral country, do you know? So they were, they were killing people elsewhere. Uh, the Erlach account. Escher von der List, von der Lind. Uh, uh, a politician. They're all into politics, right? like uh, Perset. De Estavaye, noble family. They have more. Several de Seria. Ser, ser is the animal you see here in French, de Seria. And uh, very old family, it says, de Rougemont. A, uh, he was a, a university professor. De Rougemont, another one. Roveria. Red and white Templars colors. Uh, it says this noble family doesn't exist anymore. Forget it, people. Forget it. Forget it. They just changed their names, as, as I just told you. Uh, uh, de Sali Soyo. Another soldier, which you can see, Templars crosses, a lot of soldiers in a neutral temp uh, in a neutral country, eh? De Sali, de Salnova, the Count of Salnova. This is probably where the American stripes, the red and white stripes come from, eh? I'm not joking. Uh, de Sarcloré or de, Sar, de Sarclo, there's the word Sar in it for the king, the, the pharaoh, like in a sarcophages. De Saussure. Uh, so this guy is, you know, play, playing the guitar, you think, oh, he's one of us, nice dude, you know, it looks normal. Oh, forget about it. Uh, de Saussure. Well, it looks like a hiker from those days. <laughs> Another soldier. Lots of soldiers in Switzerland, right? That's why still today the Swiss they have an, a uh, a fully automatic um, caliber 223 Remington assault rifle under their beds, and it's completely legal. They even have to have this, you know, otherwise they get problems. It's because. Uh, that's because they, you know, because of out of this period, you know, they were all killing people, the, the Swiss mercs. Uh, Grier Egremont, von Sachs, von Fellenberg, von Franz. You know, this one here, he, um, Yeah, I was a. Uh, oh, never mind. De Toggenburg, or the von Toggenburg. Uh, Comte de Fribourg et Brisgau. The south of Germany, they call it Breisgau. In French, it's Brisgau, Brigour, the counts. De Fruance. De Gélieu. Oh. De Gélieu, 
de Jean Jean. I look at the coat of arms, a lion, of course, and a crown. And it says, uh, well, the, the, in those days, it didn't have toilets anymore, so they could still write WC, you know, which you can see there. Uh, no, they wouldn't write that. Eh? Noble family, de Saussure, another soldier. Uh, von Schwanden. Oh, you, oh, look, this is, he was part of the Teutonic Order. Look at the, the Templar's cross uh, on his chest of the Teutonic Order. Burchard von Schwanden. Schwanden, I think that's also in the Emmental. He's, a, he's the, the Grand Master of the Teutonic Order. Look at this, in Switzerland, and the family is still there. Remember how I got problems, I got aggressed by a priest of a, um, in a church of the Teutonic Order. Remember that? Yeah. Did he look like him? <laughs> this is the Teutonic Order, the Grand Master. Yeah. Look it up, Burchard von Schwanden. Because when the Templars, you know, when they were forbidden in France, and after the Crusades in 12, 1291, they completely disappeared. And they went over into the Teutonic Knights. Because they already, they, they, they changed the language from French into German. This is what happened. Sénat de Sénat Clan. Sénat Clan. Eh? And on the, another politician, Aimon. Ah, like uh, Anke Anemon, the... Um, the wife of a famous pharaoh and the wife of this pharaoh. Um, I filmed his castle this year in France. He was the president of France, uh, Valérie Giscard d'Estaing. His wife you know, was uh, Aimon. You know, typical name. You don't find a lot. De, de Stal. It's a baroness. She even has the red and white in her in her head in her in her sultanic uh, turban. Sunar clan. Hmm. De Tavel. Uh, yeah, a lot of mosquitoes on the left side. Oh, no, no, okay. Little birdie birdie. Every time three birdie birdie. And there's an octagon. An octo oh yes, okay. So top right uh, in the middle of the uh, the coat of arms and uh, down left there is a octagon in the middle uh, with a circle and it has a uh, a cross uh, showing the square. So it does say octagon square and compass. De Tavel. This family is worth more investigation. Uh, was that it's a, some sort of an animal and the coat of arms? Uh, the emperor, Ger Germanic emperor, the Toggenburg, Schana, uh, another politician, von Trudy, diplomat, Valangin. I mean, all the diplomats, they, that's the, what's the typical, you know, when the, um, when the Industrial Revolution happened and the aristocracy, they were very dependent on the, on the land, you know, and having the slaves work on it and grow potatoes or whatever. So with the Industrial Revolution, there was a whole new set of finance coming up. Uh, even if you didn't own any land, you know, you can make products like the jaywalkers did a lot. And the nobility, they were losing power because they were just holding on to the land and everything that goes with it, you know. So a lot of uh, aristocrats, they went into the uh, diplomatic services of their countries, which is, of course, uh, it's part of the, uh, the Republic, you know? diplomatic service. Uh, de, de Goumouin, de Goumouin, Jorin, von Grafenried, well, we know this one, eh? Look at this, this funny tree in the middle with three, th three things in it. Very powerful family, very powerful, internationally powerful. De Grailly, noble family, the Count, 
the count of four, which is four is in France. Grisette of Forel. Bad Sausenberg. There is a castle. Hackbrett. <laughs> A soldier, oh, that's why he's called Hackbrett. Hackbrett, it means uh, a cutting planche, you know, when you're cutting something in the kitchen, a Hackbrett. That's a nice name for a soldier, I suppose. Cutting up the meat, eh? Now look at him. He's got a real Hackbrett face. Von Haller. Uh, doctor. Holzhalb, Zurich, Müllner, uh, politician, Conseil de Zurich, the uh, Council of Zurich, uh, Dion, De Vatel, uh, in the Justice Department, Seigneur de Vaumarcu, Estavaillé, De Viry, the Count of De Viry, they're real uh, chevaleresque, it says they are uh, uh, a knight, 1239, 1160, this is old. Oh yeah, look at it. Okay, good. De Vouflon, noble family. De, Vrip, de, de Vripon, de Varon. Hmm. Well, she was a spy. You know, they are very good in infiltrating, you know, they, they only protect the nobility. So if the people, you know, they try to stand up for themselves, like the German nationalists or the, the, the Russian communists, organization by the people, then they send these sort of people in there, you know, to spy, you know, with a nice bosom, you know, and okay, she looks nice and etc, uh, etc. Et you know what happens then, eh? So he got some sort of an octagon on his chest. He was a general in the Swiss Confederation. Vat de de Vadville. Having a, uh, another officer, a Swiss officer, killing people abroad. Von, von Timan. Hmm. Well, this is an abbey somewhere. Zug. It's nothing here. Zug. Zug is, oh, there you go. saint -Imier. Oh, that's interesting. saint -Imier, they have the, the world anarchist center of the entire world, the international anarchist center and remember how um the uh, empress sissy isis of course sissy if you, it's an anagram for isis she was murdered by a um an anarchist in geneva uh, to make the first world war possible because she was against it uh, an aristocrat and an empress who didn't want people to you know to kill each other and all that um the austrian empress murdered just before the first world war uh de geoffrey again you know soldiers military regiments oh yeah the swiss regiment under louis the 15th it says here yeah. okay Neut neutral switzerland eh? the devil's biggest trick <laughs> So to have the people think they're neutral and they're innocent and you know it's another soldier, the Vatville, von Timan. And here La Tour Ch Chatillon de Tour Lauben. Uh, also a soldier under Louis the Fifteenth in France. Chatillon de Tour Lauben, Beat Jacques. He went also to France, or he came from France. Another one, all soldiers. Not all soldiers, these ones here. 
and oh, he was uh, in the Swiss Guard. It says here, the battalion of the Swiss Guard. And he was fighting in uh, ah, Catalonia. Already the Catalonians were in 1654. They're already working on their independence. You know, oh, these guys never give up. That's 400, 400 years ago, and they're still going on. <laughs> so ah, oh, I'm tired of this. Eh? That's okay. So it was necessary. Funny, huh? That the ruling ultra right wing party of Switzerland, the Swiss People's Party, ruling over Switzerland, never talks about the power of the nobility on all key positions, like the noble Perset family or the hugely powerful house of von Gravenried with their Swiss to media Lügenpresse. Instead of that, they divert the people's attention through the nobility's scapegoat strategy, always saying that the jaywalkers and the foreigners are the danger, especially the national danger of Sean Ross, who points out where the real danger lies and from whom the danger comes. The Swiss People's Party are a bunch of aristocrats and even aristocratic huge landowners pretending to be farmers, while others, in fact, do the, the farming for them. Everything has been infiltrated by the nobility. Now you can see that in Wikipedia, the Swiss People's Party in Swiss German, the Schweizerische Volkspartei SVP, uh, or the Democratic Union of the Center in French. And they have all these, always with the Swiss flag, and we are neutral, and, and the whole shebang, you know. And uh, they got very famous for this year, the uh, three white sheep, Swiss sheep kicking out the black sheep, you know. And I was living there. I, I came to Switzerland when this was all going on, you know. So I got immediately a target by the Swiss Nazis. Um, this is me, Sean Ross, you know. And they kicked me out. I mean, look, th this is what they want to do and this is what they did. I mean, can it be any clearer? Eh? I felt really like being a jaywalker in the 30s in, in, in Nazi Germany, you know. Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible. They're very organized, you know, they use the police and they, they delegate their, their justice departments and real gangsters, you know, real gangsters. And they also say these ones, look, 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 you know, imagine if you're sitting here, you're one of these and you're seeing this, you know, they say, you know, th this is the enemy. You know, no, it's, it's the other ones hiding, you know, and these ladies actually, they, they were, they, they were the friendliest with me, you know, uh, always giving me food and in France and, um, it's, it's not the enemy. You know, of course, the real enemy wants you to think everything else, but that he is the enemy, that the, the real enemy, eh? Just, just, you know, like the, the Nazis did the same thing, you know, and it's a scapegoat strategy. Imagine this, you know, and nobody says a thing in the whole world, you know, like, uh, Nazism on steroids, you know? Yeah, look at that. That's Switzerland. Nazism on steroids. There's nothing else nothing else to say about it. Switzerland is Nazism on steroids. And the actual president is uh, is this one here. Well, I mean, look at them. Marco Chiesa. It means marker from the church. Chiesa. It's a church. Well, he looks very aristocratic, and he got this pin, you know, the NSDA pin, uh, 
uh, the National Socialist pin there on his uh, on his chest uh, down down right side. You see that Swiss flag, the same system, you know. Hey Swissy, the French aristocratic house of Berset became part of the ruling class in the Swiss capital, Bern or Bern in English called the Bern Burger, meaning the nobility of Bern. So not Bern Burger, meaning the citizens of Bern, but the Bern Burger, as in Bern and Burg in German, meaning Bern and Castle. So it's like a secret nobility organization. Here it says, Die Bernburger. In German, there's the word Bürger, meaning a citizen. And especially in plural, it has a umlaut on the U, like the two dots on the U, changing the, um, like here, you know, this is the O, but it's also with the U, the two dots on it, an umlaut. And if it's with a U, it changes the German U, which is the U, changes it in U. So then it would be Bern Burger, the citizens of Bern. But it doesn't say this. It says, it says Bern Burger. And a Burg in German, it means a castle. So these were the people living in the castles in the capital of uh, Switzerland. So it's an interesting interview. It's an interesting uh, story that one person uh, found out something's going on here, something very fishy. And of course, they don't know the whole the whole story uh, behind it, you know, as I'm, you know, things I'm telling you here. So you just punch pause. So we get on with it. Eh? I mean, since we're here, so I better show you for the ones who read uh, German. Because this is very interesting. Oh, here, look. Here you see a U with an umlaut, the two dots. So it changes the German U, which is U, into the sound U. So changing from Burger into Burger, which was not the case. So uh, Bern Burger is not a German word, actually. Um, it's very typical Swiss here, uh, related to uh, Bern. And this is interesting that the um, uh, the most famous Berner Burger, well, this is wrong, Burgen, you know, because it has nothing to do with a um, uh, being a, um, a civilian or a citizen. Uh, the most famous one is Madame de Meuron. You remember what I just showed you in the uh, the nobility houses in French? You can look it up again. Go back. There is one de Meuron. And I I told you uh, just a minute ago. Hey, I I remember this name de Meuron. You know what was it? Oh, here you go. Very powerful family like von Grafenried and Perset and. And, uh, and and this is how Bern became the capital of Switzerland, only because of them here, because of the um, the Bernburger. And even in Berlin, the capital of uh, Germany, there is a Bernburger Straße, the Bernburger Street. Therefore, in approximately the same era. The French philosopher Voltaire said in the 18th century that in Switzerland 
50% live in paradise and the other 50% in hell. This is Voltaire and here it says in French, of course, I couldn't find it in English. La moitié de la Suisse est l'enfer et l'autre moitié le paradis. Voltaire. Meaning that in the beginning of the 18th century and right after the French Revolution of 1789, the percentage of pharaohs in Switzerland measured half the Swiss population and heavily parasiting on the people who fell into a hellish state. And here it says, you probably recognize these two here, I don't have to tell you. Parasites will always make you believe that they are the sole reason for your existence. Here it says, the so-called workers, mainly from Italy, supplied Switzerland's need for labor after the Second World War. The percentage of aristocrats was far higher after the Second World War, therefore needing to import a couple of truckloads of foreign workers, first from Italy and Spain, and then out of the entire Muslim world. Because nobility is expensive, non-productive, and parasitic, siphoning away too much of society's energy to satisfy its frivolous cravings. By Ellen Weissman, I suppose he's a jaywalker. Smart guy. So, Switzerland is a unique symbiosis nowhere else to be seen in the world. A symbiosis here means the close relationship between organisms of different species. Where our masters lived together with the locals, also called the Nazi symbiosis, who made the conscious and free choice of a 50-50 symbiosis against the rest of humanity, of both groups profiting from the devilish deal. The Swiss and the Templar nobility in a symbiotic relationship. And symbiotic relationship is one in which organisms, people, or things exist together in a way that benefits them all. Symbiotic relationships can be obligate or facultative. Obligate symbiosis is when two organisms are in a symbiotic relationship because they can't survive without each other. And facultative symbiosis is when species live together by choice. Hey, Swissy. Therefore, now, recent footage coming out of Swiss peasant nationalists with huge folkloristic bells going into the streets because they know now that they've been betrayed by the masters in their 2000 year symbiosis deal with the devil. And here it says, we want your resignation, Alain Berset, the health minister. Alain is the surname, is the, is the name of the, uh, the health minister, Berset. And uh, this footage here, it's in this channel here, and it's from October 23rd, 
2021. Here you see the huge cowbells. So, well, hope somebody is waking up now, eh? And these ones here in Zurich, Switzerland, a few days ago, must have seen my videos, as it shows a Templar's cross here. There you go. And right under the word Nazi, like here, as a reference to the Nazi Templars. It says, Wer mit Nazis marschiert, hat nix kapiert. Nicely rhyming and meaning in English. Those who march with the Nazis have understood nothing. You can see it is in Switzerland. As it says here, Polizei. Always ever present to lie something together to put you in jail wherever you go in octagon it also shows three stars for our masters ruling over us with their concept of three which is the side of the hierarchy pyramid the pyramid of the hierarchy so it's the same channel only putnik on October the 30th, 2021, a couple of days ago. Here's a close-up, so you can see it really is a Templar's cross next to the word Nazis, Nazi Templars. So they must have seen my videos. Yeah, we also initiate people, eh? <laughs> and here they are, uh, these guys who understood it, or at least the one who made this uh, thing, this thing here a templar's cross you, you, they didn't put it here just like that you know they understand the connection with nazi templars and switzerland so they just want to say to the swiss nationalists who are protesting uh, right at this moment at the other side that, you know, they've done this alliance, the nationalists, with the, the Swiss nationalists, with the Nazis. So that's why it's written here. Those who march with the Nazis have understood nothing with this Templar's cross altogether. And we even see now the Swiss Gestapo almost completely retracting during the last anti-bug war demonstrations of Swiss nationalists entering the scene because the Swiss Gestapo knows now that far too sensitive footage of Swiss police violence and escalations with the nationalists would enter the world stage of the virtual world that wouldn't be good for the image of Pharaoh's neutral base in the world and its laws of silence. Because the cowardice Swiss Gestapo know very well that an escalation with angry Swiss rednecks who feel betrayed in their symbiosis with the Nazi Templars would get very bloody. Because this new group just recently entering the universe of demonstrators all have a couple of assault rifles at home so the coward swiss nazi police who are very good at picking soft targets as me my family and my small defenseless children or a handful of disillusioned revolting defenseless youngsters wouldn't dare to touch these type of momentarily protesting Swiss hillbillies with their Freiheitstriegler cowbells and all the hardware goodies to back up the cowbells with. And this here is the usual picture in Bern, Switzerland. 
how the easy targets get eliminated. And you all see the difference and how differently the Swiss coward Gestapo treats the very armed and organized nationalist Swiss hillbillies. The nationalist Freiheitstriegler protest the usual massive hordes of Swiss Gestapo don't even show up at all. And this is happening now, people, in the very base of Pharaoh. It finally looks that it is all falling apart. Aye, Australians, you see what I mean and what type of hardware backup makes out the difference between ending up in a concentration camp with a syringe hanging from your behind or walk with your head straight up. Look, Australians, here is the Blue Ribbon Foundation with its satanic pentagram in their logo of your local po Victoria police gangsters showing their sponsors and partners and their major partners who are financing the terror on you, on Australians. So here is their logo. This is in the browser, remember.org AU. Uh, here is their, it says Victoria Police in the middle and a crown, of course. Now, here are the sponsors and partners and the major partners. Here's a crown, of course. This symbol, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. I already filmed it at, a, um, at special places um, of our masters. Uh, what do we see here? Look, the square and compass. The Freemasons of Victoria are the major partners of the Victoria police. So these ones financed these ones and these ones beat you up or shoot you with a rubber bullet made in America by the Pen Arms. And here are their media partners, Nine News and these ones here. The program partners, you know, with the Falcon of Horus. The center group, I have no idea what they do. Here it has an oval, like the Oval Office. And look, oh, isn't that lovely? Here we got the cop shop. Oh, look at that. You know, so they can pump, so you can, you can pump more money into their criminal activities, you know. And, um... Maybe you can buy one of these hats or something in the cop shop. That would be funny, wouldn't it? And I'll walk around with that. Maybe they wouldn't shoot at you, you know, if you buy one of these hats. You can even contact them and make a donation and be a member. They have a mission. Look at this. They have board members. The honor roll. Well, I've got YouTube. Look at that. They're everywhere. Let's have a look at the YouTube. Oh, look at this. The Victoria Police Blue Ribbon Foundation of the Freemasons. Look at this. Look at their logo. The Blue Ribbon, Blue for the War, yeah? Foundation and the Satanic uh, Pentagram. And, yeah, oh, oh look. The, the, oh, this is that Blue Ribbon. Did you see that? Here, down here, and it it has the the blue ribbon has the the um, the Freemason checkerboard configuration all over it, of course. <laughs> In the white for the New World Order and blue for the war against humanity, the worldwide blue army financed by the Freemasons. What well, do you need any more evidence? Look, here's the Freemason Lodge of Queensland, probably financing the police of Queensland and giving all the orders to beat you up. The name of the lodge is Carpentaria, like carpenters, you know. 
and uh, Masons. And yeah, well, look. Look, they have over 6 million members worldwide and counting. Only this large. Imagine how many police they finance. Eh? Look at this. Well, you can count them, you know, and you find yourself a large. And why join Freemasonry? Well, why not? Yeah? They have district grant officers and... Well, they, they finance the whole shebang and give the orders. I just... I've proven that to you. So look, the Blue Ribbon Police Association of the Victoria Police here is the logo. They even have a Blue Ribbon Day on September the 29th. Now, I want you to remember where you were on September the 29th. You were probably in lockdown mode, weren't you? Well, you can see here that these guys are having a huge party. Crown Resort, the Freemason Foundation of Victoria here. This is the inverse pyramid as all people headed in Auschwitz. It's the inverse pyramid of death, rapid media. And here it says Victoria Police. So again, they were having a big party and you were, you were locked in, eh? imprisoned in your own four walls. No comment. I'll let you enjoy this in total silence. Look, there it is, the logo of one of the sponsors of the Victoria Police who financed the terrorist police. And um, I found this, this is the title here, three years ago, and I found it at a um, occult aristocratic site in my same channel here. So I'll go and have a look and I'll, sh I'll explain you what it means. And here it is again in Wikipedia, the United States Space Force. Oh, you know, they've got a space force. What's going on here? What are they hiding? You know, are they at places we don't even know? Look, here it is. Same thing. Yeah, and here as well. Uh, show you the whole picture. There you go. It's got an oval here, and I'll show you in a minute what this means. Here it says MM 2019. And there you go. So that, they're guys, you know, having badges, the same ones who are who are financing the Blue Army in Victoria. Okay. See the relation? No. Maybe you've got the Blue Army on the moon, eh? <laughs> uh, the Australian police is on the moon. You know, they're buggering the Martians, probably. You know? Poor Martians. Mm. The uh, Aerospace Defense Command. Yeah. You hardly ever hear from them, eh? That's funny. Space Operations Command. It, it's like, it's like bloody Star Trek, eh? Space Operation Command West. Wow. The Shriva Garrison with the Templar V in it and the GE of the Freemasons and that one has a bear like Switzerland. The bear on the moon, did you know that? I don't. The same symbol who are financing the uh, Australian police. Hey. Eh? That's not a coincidence. Another extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrials mar marching on the moon. Space Command. Now, even in their sergeant stripes, they've got the, uh, the symbol on it. Oh. So it seems that they're not from here, the ones ruling over us, eh? And there one. What's that? Russians have it as well. 
Look at this. Russians have the same symbol. Look at that. Yeah. They're all together, you know. All these, it, it's one uniformed race ruling over humanity. They're all the same. So here as well. There you go. It's all the same. Here's a world and here's a world. This is octagon here behind it. It's and actually this is also a part of uh, octagon. I showed in a minute. Maybe some of you already see it. Okay, that was it. There you go. There it is. One of these things is the symbol you see everywhere. And this is the cross of the hospitalis, also called the Maltese cross. And it's the opposite of a Templar's cross. Templar's cross is a red cross on a white underground. Hospitalis, like the Swiss cross, they have a white cross on the red underground. So all the belongings of the Knights Templars um, went into this white cross red underground organization. And this is why we have the Swiss flag where all the, all the wealth of the world is. So, you know, there are four of these things. Uh, pate, uh, it's called pate. Pat, it means a uh, foot, like a duck, a duck foot. Resembles a little bit, you know. So this uh, patted um, cross, uh, one of them is missing. So three are left. So this is the concept of three. And together with the one, there are four being the concept of four. So as it is all hidden, they don't show three and four. They only show the one that is missing, you know, and they all know it because it's a hidden organization. It's like showing the negative part, like in a, in a photograph, uh, the camera obscura, you know, um, it's all uh, like um, reverse speeds and all this. It's, uh, it's the negative uh, image only showing one. It's the negative image of the concept of three and four. So only one of the petted uh, four uh, wings of the um, of the Hospitalis cross. That's one of their secret symbols, which we find in the Space Force. So first they conquered the Earth, and now they're already conquering uh, apparently other planets and uh buggering the poor aliens eh? <laughs> well australians are aliens as well aren't they so back to Swaziland and the swiss health minister usually only a handful of left wingers rarely demonstrated in switzerland who were easily outnumbered by the swiss gestapo beaten down, cameras confiscated, eyes shot out with the Swiss 40mm Brugger und Tomet launcher, as, he, as you can see it happen here, and sent to jail for a long time. This is the notorious high security prison torture detention center in Bern, the Amthaus Bern where a Wolfgang Umfogel, he was murdered because he wanted to sell banking CDs because of the tax evasion going to Switzerland. And they murdered a lot of people in here. And this is the Swiss made demonstrator murder weapon. The Swiss made Brugger und Tomet LBD-40 by the Swiss military industrial complex and their Brugger und Tomet military industries. And that has already killed and maimed thousands of young people all over the world. So much about neutral Switzerland. Why don't you do something against this Mr. Swiss health minister Berset from the house of Set? Look, here he's all seven heads of the Swiss beast all by himself. But instead of doing 
what he's supposed to do. Berset here. Baldes Faro is holding a comforting political speech in front of a set of sick dolls, sort of representing the sterile transhumanist future of humanity. Just look how the bold pharaoh is acting and gesticulating in real-time feature, as if he were in Parliament, fooling the people with his fantastic rhetorics and smooth acting capabilities, which would even get a plastic doll in an ecstatic state. As in ecstatic Swiss peasants and their symbiosis with the masters. And look at the doctor, who's probably French, as the Swiss peasants import all academic personnel in Switzerland out of the obvious reasons. And one can clearly see the doctor thinking, bloody hell, is this guy real? Or am I dreaming? What's going on here? And look at his charming audience. Look at their arms with the movable plastic parts screwed together and with their arms all lined up the same way. The patient's arms sort of looking like this here. And look at the roundly opened up mouth accentuating the even more perverted side of it all, probably bringing his own personal sex doll. And he is saying to her, Honey, don't worry, I'll take care of it all. Trust me, dear. The same lullaby lines he uses on a daily basis in Swiss Parliament. To a to anesthetize the people with. Also proving they can't even find any real sick people infected with their so-called bug wars. But now things seem to be changing with far too many people armed with cameras, so-called weaponized cameras potentially showing the true face of the motherland of all evil, which the sly Swiss Gestapo can only avoid by staying in the background. Truly fascinating times we're in. I love the end times, as I'm not the only one anymore being terrorized by Pharaoh's Swiss blue gang. Oh boy, this is great. I'm getting totally high on the end times air. Let's push the tempo. Let's rock and roll and let the end times roll. This is what I was made for. So, back to the Swiss House of the Beast Health Minister of the End Times. The next intel you only find in the French-speaking Wikipedia about Alain Berset. So, let's go down here. Here it says, he went to the, um, in 1991, he went to the, um, to the school of Saint-Croix in uh, uh, Fribourg in Switzerland. So I'll, I'll, I'll punch on it, see? There we go. So, Berset, also he went to the Holy Cross College for the Elite in Fribourg, Switzerland. As he was already predestined to mount the highest political office in the world, becoming one of the seven heads of the beast of the Alps. 
So here's that school again for the French-speaking elite, uh, Collège Sainte-Croix, where the Swiss health minister went to. And look, the first one here, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. So this school was attended by a nobleman like Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. And also here, the demotic per in the name ex zu per i, who wrote this book on the little prince on some lonely planet. A book about a prince of his nobility, of course, where only the initiated can understand its true meaning. Also, the former King of Spain, Juan Carlos I, an important member of the Order of the Garter, attended this Swiss elite school for the nobility. Here, in 2020, in a huge pharaonic corruption affair, stealing billions of euros from the Spanish slaves and hiding it in Pharaoh's base in Switzerland, where he gathered a lot of very influential personalities while going to that elite school. And the money came, of course, from the Catalan people, which is the most rich, richest part of uh, Spain. And of course, the king, he hates the Catalans because they wanted to be free and be away from his royal kingdom. So why not steal from them, eh? And there he is again, the Spanish former king in his Order of the Garter costume. And I have no doubt whatsoever that the corruption king got introduced to the Swiss Perset, who helped him stash the nobility's robbery of those damn Catalan slaves. Brothers in crime, as they say. And also going to that Swiss school for the nobility, another French aristocrat, the Count Alexandre de Marange. He can seem together with this bloke here. I hope you can read that. Oh, there you go. He's in the White House. Look at that. So he was the uh, former head of the French CIA called the SDECE from 1970 to 1981. And of course, during the reign of Pharaoh Giscard d'Estaing, about whom I made this video here while visiting his castle this year in 2021. And he was in a corruption affair of the Emperor Bokassa, um, about which, of course, the, um, the Count de Marange and the head of the, the French secret service uh, dealt with. You know, probably like, you know, having a few people like liquidated left and right, you know, that's the nobility. We are being ruled by the nobility. Corruption, castles, they're at all key positions. It's Pharaoh, and this is what they look like here. Yeah. And here you can see him together with General Patton here. You know, and here is Alexandre de Marange. Here they left the D away, which they do a lot, you know, so people would never think He's an aristocrat, uh, you're having a castle, you know. And uh, this is uh, General Juin. And this, of course, must be here, the Arc de Triomphe, the thing they wrapped up recently. Uh, they all like to pass through it, eh? and then salute, and, you know, put this sturdy face on, and, you know, pretend they're like men, or, you know, or with their cowboy boots here. And um, all of these, they're all aristocrats, you know, nothing has changed, people. 
and they become, you know, the moment they go into the military, they be, they become a colonel immediately or a major, you know, and you have to obey to them. Look, he also has the octagon here, General Patton. You know, it's also an aristocrat. They all are. They all are people. They're all a bunch of pharaohs. And here's the castle of uh, the Count Alexandre de Marange. Of course, Mar or Mer in his name, Marange, it means a pyramid in the Demotic language, Mer, Merange. And um, it's in the Jura here, yeah, which is Laval, which is uh, right next to the Swiss border, uh, next to the French part, where he went to the uh, the same Swiss school for the elite where Mr. Perset, the Swiss health minister, went to. In another era, of course, but they all know each other. So, I mean, this all means, you know, that Mr. Perset, you know, he's, he's from the nobility, and even the high nobility. He was at the school all together with all aristocrats. Well, it's a pharaonic school. And another nobleman who went to the same Swiss school to, as Mr. Perset went to. His name is the Count Louis de Bonville de Poignard, another nobleman. And uh, the Bonville, it means the good life. <laughs> of course, having a good life, yeah? And um, it says, the Count of the Bonville de Pogna, Louis de Bonville. I'll show you in a minute uh, that he was at the same school. And he was the best friend of Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, you know, the, the little prince guy. Of course he was. They were together at the same school. They had a marvelous time in Switzerland, eh? You know, remember, 50% live in paradise and the other 50% in hell. A marvelous time it was, you never forgot it, eh? And here, this is interesting, and you have to remember this. He was also in the Villa Saint-Jean. So you remember this. There's a lot of Saint-Jean, there's a lot of um, a Templar commanderies called Saint-Jean. Uh, Macron, he was in one in Strasbourg, also called Saint-Jean. And this is a Sikh, he says here, you know, uh, Juan Carlos, he was at it, and um, and here it says Le Marianiste. This is a secret organization for the nobility, for their kids. And of course in Fribourg, where, and here it says uh, La Sarine, that's the word Sar in it, meaning the king. So around this river, you know, there are a lot of kings, and that's what I'm showing you. They're all kings and aristocrats going to that school there. So before I go on with the list, you know, I have to do this, you know, to give you an idea who Mr. Perset, who he really is. He's not, he's not a man of the people, you know. He's the high nobility. So before I go on with the list, I'm going back to that uh, school and I'll show you all the names again and that. Uh, who this Marianist and uh, Villa Saint Jean, you know, what it's all about. And then I go on. So here we go back to that school for the, the French speaking elite, where the, um, the Swiss health minister Berset, where he went to school with all the other aristocrats. And um, look here, there are some personalities here. What I just told you, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, the King of Spain, Juan Carlos, Alain Berset, Perset, the Swiss health minister, Alexandre de Marange, very dangerous person, the head of the French CIA. There's Louis de Bonville, who had a good life, you know. And um, there's even some Epsteins, you know. This is all aristocracy, you know, Epsteins. Oh, he looks like Jeffrey Epstein, doesn't he now? Yeah. And um, 
Um, here are some more names here. And um, I wanted to show you this. This is all, you know, to have an idea uh, who the health minister actually, who he really is. So here, here we go. This is interesting. Villa Saint Jean. And um, so I'll show it to you here. And the Villa Saint Jean, that's uh, uh, the name this apparently this uh, school had before. And, uh, you know, they just call it Villa Saint Jean. It's, it's like the house of Saint Jean, you know, in a way. And um, I see here Antoine de Saint Exupéry. And now it's uh, Collège Saint Croix, the Holy Cross College. And um, here, yeah, the history. This is interesting. Uh, L'établissement a été fondé. I, I read it in French, and then I'll translate it to you. L'établissement a été fondé en 1903 pendant le bouleversement anticlérical en France pour offrir un internat scolaire aux enfants de l'élite française. You know, it was founded as a, uh, a boarding school, an internat, that's a boarding school, aux enfants de l'élite française, for the children of the French elite. But, you know, they're coming there from the whole world, you know, and uh, it's international. It's very international. And here it says, Avec un internat, éduquant avec rigueur principalement des Français de famille bourgeoise. Uh, they have a boarding school, and especially for the, for the children of the, um, of the French elite and the, uh, the French aristocracy, bourgeoise. That means aristocracy. Right? And now it says a high school. The villa s'est transformée. Le collège est devenu une institution internationale enseignant principalement le programme d'une high school of America. So the villa, la villa Saint Jean, it has transformed. And now the college is, has become an international institution. And they're teaching the program like uh, of a high school of America, but only for the elite. And here you can see the elite, they come from Europe, America, the Middle East, uh, Asia, Extreme Orient, that's Asia. And they get a diploma of an American high school, but of course, only for the elite. Right? And... Um, so for not to make it too difficult for them, you know, it's just a, uh, they just get a high school uh, diploma. And uh, well, here are some more names. Marc Sabran, Guy Sabran, uh, Gérard Dorval. Well, I'm, I'm not going to dive into all of them, otherwise I'll, I'll never finish this video. And uh, well, let's go back to the, um, so the Villa Saint-Jean, it belonged to an organization. There we go. Uh, where was it? Um, can't find it anymore. Uh, ah, here it is. Uh, Les Marianistes. Et la Marianiste, here it says here, it means la société de Marie. Uh, it's like the society of Jesus. It's the society of Mary. And if I punch on it, I think it's very much related to the Jesuits. But of course, because the Jesuits is Catholic, and they have a very high level of education, and Catholic is um, royalist. And on the other side, we got the, um, the Protestants, and that's Templar. You know, so it's Templar versus Jesuits. And as the Templars won the internal war, you know, the Jesuits actually, they have not much more power because the aristocrats lost. And that's why we have a um, constitutional monarchy. That means the constitution of the Knights Templars. 
and a monarchy they have to obey but they still have their their secret little jesuit schools and uh, but they don't have as much power as the uh, the knights templars and everything that goes with it like the constitution the republic the parliament you name it eh? i hope you understand it so we are back at the site here of the of that school the uh, le collège saint croix and um, here is again Alain Berset, Alain Berset of the House of Set. He's the House of the Beast, and maybe he is the beast you're looking for. Who knows? You know, very powerful, and he's amongst aristocrats. He's for, he's an aristocrat himself. And so I go quickly through the other names here just to give you an idea who Mr. Perset is. And he's, he's not a very loved person at the moment in Switzerland. So here it is. I found it for you in English, the Society of Mary and uh, the, the, the Marists, Le Marianiste in French and in English, the Marists. This is their, their, um, their crest. It says Sub Marie Nomine. That means under the name of Mary. Nomine means the name. Mary is Mary. Sub is under. Um, and this is the seal of Solomon. Now, that's where it all comes from. The whole thing. So, and as I thought, and I, I, I saw the IHS just before and the other site i showed you but i don't want to go back there and the it says the idea of a new marian body to fill the vacuum left by the suppression of the society of jesus well we all know what the society of jesus is here there it is ihs the jesuits and it says as well the suppression of the jesuits well, who suppressed the Jesuits? The Knights Templars. Because the Knights Templars is Protestant. So everybody going after the Jesuits, the Jesuits, no. They have to listen to what the Republic, by the Knights Templars and the Freemasons, tell them. But of course, there are still the, the, the highest elite who are royalists, and I want, I want to go back to the vertical rule. And um, so they have their private little Jesuit schools. That's all. But they will never manage because the horizontal rule is far too powerful. They have no, they have no possibility. You know? And at the head here, yeah, I saw that before, but I forgot. They have a superior superior general is the is the leader or the head of the um of the um, society of mary and now you got a guy called john larson and um so this is just for the elite and uh you know so you think they rule you know but they they have to they have to obey the constitution, they have to obey the Freemasons, and Jesuits are not Freemasons. And um, so this is how it all works, you know, so forget telling, you know, for, for, forget about these Jesuits, you know, for God's sake. Um, yeah, you see, this is, this is one of them, the founder of the Marys, oh, this is the founder. Uh, Saint Marseillan Champagne. And what have you got here? You got a crown. Well, that's what I've been just telling you. And the next one going to that school of uh, the minister Perset is Jean Epstein, as in Jeffrey Epstein of the German nobility and the Epstein Castle. Stein and Epstein is a very German name. The Stonesies, the stone builders, and it seems that the Epstein family is hanging around a lot with the worldwide nobility. Here in the Swiss elite school for the nobility, 
as well as Jeffrey Epstein with Prince Andrew, and of course Trump also related to the high nobility. Epstein must therefore be the jaywalker nobility, also called the Erev Rav in Hebrew. And I'd like you to look at his skull, look at the skull form. It's very dolicocephalic. Look at the nose and the ear. Well, I tell you, he's, and the jaw, most of all. You know, it's not a jaw going like this and then like this, you know. It's going like this in a straight line going from his chin to his ear. And that's quite peculiar because Jeffrey Epstein he has exactly the same thing. And also the distance from here from his chin to his lips is exactly the same as Jeffrey Epstein. The ears are very similar. The hair here, it's, it's starting. The hairline is exactly at the same place as Jeffrey Epstein and um, the whole skull form. So I, I don't really know how to do this, you know, to, to make a photo comparison. I, I, I don't want to go and wrap my head around it, you know. But I just show you the next picture of Jeffrey Epstein and you can uh, compare that for yourself. So it would be quite fair to, um, to say that this is the same Epstein family. And it says the family relocated to Switzerland. So uh, Epstein was born in Warsaw to a French jaywalker father and a Polish mother. Uh, it doesn't say what the what the mother was, if she was a jaywalker, nobility, or... Um, well, anyway, the nobility is deep in this bloodline, there's no doubt. So here they are, the nobility, um, cruising for some loose women here. You know, look at their faces, you know, look, look at their eyes, you know, you can see what they're thinking. Right? And they're, they're both looking at the same, you know, the same way. But look, so look at the chin here. It's the same chin line as Jean Epstein from the Swiss nobility school. This distance is the same. The skull form is very similar. The hairline, the ears, uh, they're both in the nobility. Um, they, you know, it's the elite, very rich people. And I have no doubt that this is the same bloodline. And the Epsteins all hanging around the nobility and uh, same bloodline people. So the next one in line of this um, Swiss school, the next famous person. And of course, there are thousands or maybe tens of thousands. Well, we never hear of. Eh? So this is also a famous person. Régis de saint jouan or his full name is Régis Le Saulnier de saint jouan of an old aristocratic family of Brittany, so another aristocrat. And all of these, and many other kings, queens, and pharaonic nobility were taught in this Swiss school for the French-speaking international elite. And here you can see, well, there's a lot of stuff, but this is interesting. You know, all roads lead to Switzerland, I tell you. Here it says that he um, he went to, um, so there's a guy who's living at, uh, on, on the other side of Europe, you know, in, in Brittany, almost in England, and he goes to a Swiss school. You know, is, isn't there any other school next door, you know, or maybe in Paris? It's, it's, it's quite a big town, isn't it? No, of course, they have to go to Switzerland. So here there's again the Villa Saint-Jean and uh, the Marinists. There you go. The Society of Mary. And, uh, well, I told you, well, you know, from all the other ones, you know, we'll never hear of. We would never heard of, you know, Set having been there, you know, if he wouldn't have become the uh, the very notorious health minister of Switzerland. I'm sorry it took so much time 
showing all the aristocratic families in Switzerland. And now all the nobility who went to the same aristocratic Swiss elite school as Mr. Berset. In the army, the line of work I eventually was involved in, this was called screening in the negative profile. Imagine the profile in the proverbial crosshairs being an unknown factor. So you can't make a presentable picture of the profile, of whom sometimes the entire name is unknown, the so-called Mr. X or John Doe. So you have to work on the known factors around the profile to puzzle in the whole image, a little bit like the negative film of your camera obscura and fill in all the colors around the objective resulting in a blank space popping out giving away the profile of the objective and mr mr x just as i just did with the um, perset health minister i was very good at it and started picking out my own objectives of some very highly placed persons in society, screening in their negative complementary profiles, which I better which I better hadn't, and I had to run for my life, as they were so called high profiles, a very high, untouchable profile that is maybe i shouldn't have told you this but hell we're in the end times anyway who cares anymore yeah it's a great time to be in the end times i love it this image here also represents this way of working with intel and to screen in the profile by using the intel around the profile in black thus slowly leaving a blank space which bit by bit will take form eventually it's a great honor to participate in the end times game and show the bastards what you're made of i have known it all my life i'd be living in these sort of times and my spirit has been prepared for this over the progress of my life, getting sort of reloaded with what already was inside, thus giving further proof of Perset's aristocratic background of Pharaoh. So anyone who still believes that Switzerland, with their bogus people's referendums and bogus direct democracy by the people, consequently is a big fan of Swiss fairy tales, like believing the William Tell story by the German novel writer Friedrich von Schiller, an aristocrat of the 19th century. And here it says Wilhelm Tell is gelogen in German, which means in English William Tell is a lie. Friedrich von Schiller, a German, wrote this Wilhelm Tell story only 200 years ago about some almost invented fairy tale happening 800 years ago in 1291 when the Knights Templars founded Switzerland. The William Tell story is the Templars story and their founding of Switzerland in 1291 told by our masters. In an understandable 
people's version for the dumb slaves without giving too many incriminating details. Just another of their encoded tales for the initiated. A real telltale, so to speak. I mean, in 2091, the dumb peasant slaves couldn't read nor write, so do you really think they still remembered the story 800 years later? Just look at the sheeple today. They don't even remember what happened last year, considering all the historical and political events. William Tell is a story by and for our masters, who wrote it and go and see the play in some theatre for the upper class elite. Of course, um, Friedrich von Schiller was an aristocrat, named after Emperor Frederick the Great, whom the Germans called Fritz the Faggot because he used to rape young soldiers. And he was raised by Karl Eugen, the Duke of Württemberg, next to Switzerland, of course. He married Charlotte von Lengefeld, an aristocratic woman, all with the nobility's von prefix. He was a close friend of Wolfgang von Goethe, another aristocrat, and one of his descendants, the Baron Alexander von Gleichen Ruswarm, died in 1947. And God knows how many of this hidden nobility, nobility offspring there are today. And these Swiss peasants believing the whole William Tell story by Pharaoh's nobility. And uh, this is Wikipedia, Friedrich Sch uh, Schiller, or Friedrich von Schiller, there you go. It's all aristocracy. And uh, here it says that the boy Schiller came to the attention of Karl Eugen, the Duke of Württemberg. There you can see the Duke of Württemberg. Oh, oh dear with a red sash of the um, the Red House of Pharaoh, the Bertasse. And he uh, became his protege. protege. Um, I'm again screening in this, eh? Um, oh, there's a lot more, but... Um, Schiller married Charlotte von Lengefeld, Lengefeld Charlotte Louise Antoinette von Schiller, you know, Antoinette, like the uh, the wife of the French king uh, Louis the Sixteenth, and here it says the last living descendant of von Schiller was a grandchild of Emilie, the Baron Alexander von Gleichen Ruswarm. It's all aristocratic descendants, you know. And together with Goethe, uh, well, that is von Goethe, another aristocrat, they founded the Weimar Theater. There it is. Mr. Hitler probably went there as well, you know. And um, well, they showed the uh, the play of uh, William William Tell, you know. And. Um, I hear Freemasonry. Well, he was a Freemason. I'll show that in a minute. And here. Here he had an affair with an army officer's wife, Charlotte von Kalb, another aristocrat. So the William Tell story is the nobility all over. Eh? It's, it's not Swiss people, peasants. Forget it. The William Tell play is a typical Freemasonic story of the killing and complete eradication of the real monarchy 
von Schillers descendant, the Baron Alexander von Gleichen Rusworm, said that the nobility brought von Schiller to the Freemason Lodge Günther zum stehenden Löwen. A Löwen means a lion, of course. It all comes from Egypt and from the nobility. So this is what the Freemasons say themselves. And I scroll down. If you want to read it all, you just punch pause. Here. In, uh, in 1829, a letter between two members of Lodge Gunther zum Stehenden Löwen lament the dissolving of their lodge since Schiller was initiated in the lodge. According to Schiller's great-grandson, the Baron Wilhelm Heinrich Karl von Gleichen Ruswurm brought Schiller to the uh, lodge. There is no documentation, but, uh, you know, it's all, uh, uh, you know, it's commonly claimed that Schiller was a Freemason. You know, of course he was. I mean, there's enough indications to that. And also his best friend, Wolfgang von Goethe, with whom he opened the Weimar Theater, where they showed the William Tell play, was a very famous Freemason. Here you see him, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe the great German writer. So listen up, Swissy, your whole history and your William Tell, it's 100% Freemasonry who come out of the Knights Templars. I tell you, the whole history of Switzerland is a huge lie by Pharaoh's nobility and fanatically repeated by their useful Swiss peasants. In order to wrap up their base with the finishing touch it needed to fool us all, the devil's biggest trick, as they say. This one here, together with his colleague, Mr. Perset, also is one of the actual seven heads of the beast, and his name is Maurer from the Swiss People's Party, which is the German word for Mason. And a Mason he truly is. And organizing the actual Swiss People's Movement, marching around in their uniforms. Just the habitual tortures haven't been added yet to the new Swiss nationalist marching movement. And this is Switzerland today, November 2021. Ordo ab chaos, order out of chaos, and Freemasons free profiting from the crisis, just as the global finance crisis of the 1920s and 1930s. Always the same story. The William Tell story is what we would now call a government psyop to, man to manipulate the people through a psychological operation. William Tell was written by Friedrich Schiller in the era of the French Revolution, when not really the French people abdicated the monarchy. And miraculously, the William Tell Psyop tells the exact same story of not really the Swiss peasants abdicating the Habsburg monarchy. The William Tell play premiered in Paris right after the French Revolution. And in both cases, both France and Switzerland, the Templar Freemason Republicans took over control. Therefore, the apple on the boy's head is red. 
referring to the Red House Bertasser of Pharaoh that became Europe's monarchy and aristocracy, symbolically shot to pieces by an arrow through the red apple. Tal is not a Swiss name, but an Arab, Hebrew, Oriental word meaning a hill, as in Tel Al Amarna, the capital of Upper Egypt of the Berhet, New World Order White House of Pharaoh, or Tel, meaning the hill for the protesting Swiss hillbillies. Capital Hill of the Perhet Pharaoh's White House, with the concept of three here and the concept of four there, saying square and compass. The character of Wilhelm Tell is merely an insider reference, indicating the ones behind the murder plot, killing the King of France and the entire Pertasser old monarchy by the Perhet New World Order horizontal rule and by their Swiss octagon in the Alps, the base of the Templars and the base of Pharaoh. Pharaoh Akhenaton was merely a revolutionary pharaoh for the horizontal New World Order rule of the White House per head, and he was not really the heretic pharaoh. Pharaoh's internal wars was a different kind than the one taught by the mainstream. And of course, for those who don't know yet, uh, you must ha have a look at my other videos about the uh, the White House and the Red House. So here in Wikipedia, here is the combined crowns of Pharaoh. This is the Red House, also called the Pertasser, which is represented in the William Tell story by the apple. These are the original Pharaohs and the original monarchy, uh, both in Egypt and in uh, Europe. So red is always represented, uh, the color red is a representation of the, um, of the monarchy. And then there's white, as in the name Tell, which is not at all a Swiss name. I, I never heard anybody in Switzerland is called Tell by his surname. And the White House here, it, tells, it stands for Upper Egypt in the south, which is the uh, also called the White House, as you know, uh, Capitol Hill and next to Capitol Hill. Um, tell, meaning the hill. And um, it's called the Perhet in uh, Pharaonic. So uh, Tell, the, um, the guy shooting the arrow, is um is a representation of tel al amarna which they usually call it the hill you know the um the, the white house that's why they call it the hill in america it's all internal language people so tell represented by the white he shoots an arrow in the monarchy and the red apple of course the nobility's william tell story is actually being used a lot now by the fascist Swiss People's Party and the Freiheitstregler of the Cowbells gang. And this would give the, you know, the impression that the Swiss are child loving people, you know, with uh, the father here, William Tell, and the boy here and protecting his boy. But let me tell you, they are not at all. On the contrary, the Swiss had children slaves until 1989, who were raped, they were beaten to death, who were starved to death until 1989, people. 
So for those who want to know more about the story about the Swiss children's slaves, I made a couple of videos about it, but they were on my channel that got deleted, my old QA channel. But here you can hear it from, uh, from someone else. So you don't only you don't have to hear it from me all the time. Here you can see the Swiss children slaves here. She was a former. She was also uh, enslaved. Um, in another thing they had, they had um, eugenics going on until 1996. The administrative Zorte. Um and the, uh, the, 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 the father of the worldwide genetics was Dr. Ernst Ruden. He was a Swiss. So go and watch this documentary, Switzerland's Stolen Generation. It's well done. Um, but I warn you, they got um, the concept of four here in their logo of Dateline. I think it's Australian. And the circle in 3D shown from the side like. It's of course the compass and the concept of three. And the whole thing is in a square again. So it does say square and compass. Right? And it is um, in red. Here's the white and the black. Maybe it's supposed to be the blue. Anyway, it's a sort of a sky here. But uh, the video is good. Go and watch it. Especially Australians because this is, go this is waiting for you. Right? The Swiss octagon has become very politically active now, November 2021. And it is in fact octagon's resurrection of the notorious fascist Swiss Cowbells clan. In Swiss German, the Hu Klokke clan. The actual Swiss Cowbells clan marching in the streets of Switzerland, and out of which also the origins of the KKK Ku Klux Klan lay, which I explained in this video here. Here's the title KKK Ku Klux Klan from Switzerland Racism, the Heart of Nazism, and Criminal Banks. Unfortunately, it was on my channel Gure, the old one, which got deleted by YouTube. So the film survived here in Israel on the, uh, the, the video platform here. And here you can see the Hebrew letter type. And this is an important video to understand. Uh, what is going on today in uh, Switzerland with the the cowboy the, the cowbells clan uh, marching in the streets of uh, Switzerland on the this very uh, nationalist uh, banner and so here you see Ku Klux Klan the word Ku it's the German word for the cow and Klux it's the uh, the, uh, the it comes out of the German or Swiss German word the Glocke, the, the the clock, the the bells, you know, and a clan is a clan, and they have this the KKK, the Swiss have in Parliament. It stands for their uh, for their slogan, um, um, compromise, consensus. And um, well, another thing, it makes KKK. They, this, this is like the French have Liberté, Fraternité, Égalité. The Swiss, they have the KKK. And I explain it all in my uh, video. So uh, maybe some people like re-upload this video all over YouTube. I think it's still on, uh, on archive.com as well. So from there you can download it or maybe from, from here. Because this is becoming very actual today again, if you look in the streets of Switzerland. Eh? And it's nationalist, it's racist, it's... Um... Well, there it is. I found it on YouTube. Um, I know this guy, Redat Drei, three. Uh, he contacted me like 10 years ago. He was very badly treated in Switzerland. And... Um... 
Uh, they, they also kidnapped his child, I think. Uh, you can see this is uh, some Muslim thing. The guy is an Arab. Nice guy. So I know it's a lot of pe uh, there's a lot of people amongst you that have problems like uh, um, watching a video like on the other platform because it doesn't work. You know, if you don't have a good internet uh, networks, it might be difficult. I don't know, but that's what I heard. So here you can watch it on YouTube. So you better download it and re-upload it before it's entirely gone. Eh? And uh, maybe Maria wants to uh, translate it into Spanish. That wouldn't be bad. Gracias, mi hermana. So this marching in the streets um, is a technique used by the politicians to let the people march called the catharsis in order to calm down the agitated slaves and give them false hope. Through old traditions, the peasant slaves can hold on to for a bit more. So the masters of evil can gain more time for their endgame. The catharsis social engineering by the Tavistock Institute works awfully well on the very frustrated Swiss hillbilly cowbells clan. So the Octogon and their Maurer Mason, seventh head of the beast, can literally remote control direct their peasant force on the various battlefields to prepare them for the end game. It says, Ueli Maurer, the seventh head of the beast, next to Mr. Perset. Here he is, Uli Maurer. He's one of the seven, seven heads of the Swiss beast. You can buy it here for $22. Go ahead. Like Switzerland leads the way. So go buy their t shirts of the Ku Klux Cowbells clan and join the charming family. And just watch the flower here. Yeah, here it is. It's called Edelweiss in Swiss German and in German Edelweiss and only grows high up in the base of all evil. Now look at it well. Mark it very well in your memory. This one here, Edelweiss. Well, the Nazis also started with this harmless flower, doing the so-called Fackelmarsche, or torch marches in the street, the very same Edelweiss flower. And the very same Fackelmarsche, torch marches, now today in Switzerland. Whom are they gonna burn? first. Here the same cowbells clan, their uniformed t-shirts, their stormtrooper torches, and even the bag as the highly appreciated nationalist markings. Uh, that's what I call Swiss precision. Holy moly. You all remember the video I made on their nationalist markings on all supermarket products I once made. And look here at the logo on his jacket. It's the inversed pyramid of death and in red for the political prisoners of Auschwitz. The guy seems to be a priest with that long ecclesiastical sharp of his to seduce some more peasants into their nationalist religion.
the Swiss religion of burning people with their torches, trying to set fire to the world once more. Yes, people, this photo was also taken in Swaziland. Look at the Swiss German words here. This is somewhere, there's a train behind it or a metro or something. This is the KKK Cowbells clan out of Swaziland in an octagon and a Swiss cross here. Unfortunately, there's no referee giving Swissy the red card because Swissy is the referee. And here, once more, the priest of the Swiss religion called nationalism with his Auschwitz badge. Here it is, the red inversed Auschwitz pyramid for political prisoners. This is not a coincidence, this harmless looking priest with a harmless little Edelweiss flower and their harmless stormtrooper torches shows the same red Auschwitz triangle on his jacket. Because these Nazi peasants have their own clothing brands like here Alpha Industries, Ansgar Aryan, Black Legion, Bomberjacke, Boxing Connection Label 23, Cons Dapel, Eric and Sons, Fred Perry, FSN Clothing, Greifogel Wear, Hermannsland, Kampfhund Motive, Pitbull, Amstaff, Dobermann, Lonsdale, Master Race, Europe, New Balance, One Family, Torsteiner, Troublemaker, Germany, White Rex, Yakuza, Yakuza 893, Yakuza Premium Selection, and here, Wotan Textile, Resistance, Master Race Europe, Nordland, Thor, Einherjer, um, I don't know what that is, by Odin. So they can make it the way they want it. You know, if somebody wants a, um, a, um, a, a red Auschwitz uh, triangle on a jacket with it on it, they, they make it, yeah? And they know it amongst each other, but you don't. So they make their own clothing the way they want it to be. Like for the most charming couple of the year here, Adolf and Eva Braun. And 88 saying Heil Hitler, because the H is the eighth letter in the alphabet. Well, they probably got taught by these ones here, who do the very same and use the same identitarian techniques as Nazis do, with their rainbow flags, pink fashion, pink unicorns, pink hyenas, and what not. And they even lead the nationalist scene. Just look at the Nazi typography here. Yeah, just look at this Nazi typography. As I've shown you in this video here, and I've given you in this video all the proofs all these historical big shots like Martin Luther, the aristocratic inventor of Protestantism, they all belong to Pharaoh's nobility. Otherwise, you just won't get there. Eh, Mr. Perset? Eh, Swissy?